Yo, 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 everybody. Happy Thursday. Thanks for joining the stream. You guys are on it. <laughs> we already got six people hanging out on this darn thing. Thanks for joining the Keep On Wrenching live stream. All kinds of stuff to get into tonight. Brian T is in the chat. Happy Thursday to you, man. Incredible job on that tank. We want to talk about that a little bit tonight for sure. Everybody do Brian a solid. Hit that like button. Help him get the stream out there. I know. Let's break 30 tonight. It'd be awesome to break 30 um, viewers at one time. I think that'd be cool. Wow, look at my hair. My hair is all crazy tonight. Oh, well. I haven't had a, hair, had a haircut in how many months? It's ridiculous. All kinds of good stuff, man. Um, good stuff all over the place. You know, last week we were trying to get the Keep On Wrenching group on Facebook over 100. Well, we're over 100. We're at 108 members now on the group. It just kind of slowly but surely keeps trucking away. And people are starting to get bold, man. Brian T, throwing the video out there. I love that stuff, man. Don't be afraid of the lens. Get in there. And then we're going to talk about this freaking amazing tank. Look at this tank. Brian T, freaking representing right there. I love this. What you think, y'all? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are we going to say? It looks like, looks like garbage. No, no, no. All kinds of good stuff, guys. If you're early on the stream, head to keeponwrenching.com. Request your free sticker. I put a little form at the bottom of the site um, just for, I don't know, the people that are signed up to the newsletter. People are hanging out on the stream. So go, go get that free sticker, all right? Totally free. I'll, I'll mail it to you, and it'll be in your mailbox in a few days. It'll be all good. Brian T., I might have to check out early. Just might have to bounce early tonight. Got a line on another 73 CL with an already rebuilt motor. That's awesome. Fantastic. Good luck with that. Don't pay too much, and uh, make sure you check the frame. Check that frame, man. My last two have had cracked frames now that i got to figure out how I'm going to deal with it. So, Oh, Brian, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Well, we'll take a look at it. A couple projects um, going on tonight. I do want to dive into these carburetors. These are off the 1968. Um, you know, it, the frame is cracked. I've got all these other things going on. I want to see if I got a serviceable set of carburetors. I don't know. Let's see what's hiding inside of these bowls. I think that'll be kind of fun to check out. Over on the other table, we've got this tank. Uh, right now, it's been full of, um, it has been 100% full of vinegar, and I've done about three passes with it, uh, getting material out of it. So uh, we're going to dive into that tank, and I've got something really fun uh, that came in the mail just in time for the stream today, so I'm excited about that. Hey, Tyler. Hey, you got your sticker? It, it couldn't have arrived yet, did it? I don't think I mailed it yet. I haven't gotten around to that yet. But dude, you're gonna get your sticker in the mail, no problem. Oh, the frame was chopped in the rear. Wheels, tires are new, lots of good, good oh, that's awesome then. So good, bar, good, good parts, that's all good. I do wanna show off this. The uh, tumblers are in the shop at keeponwrenching.com. Nice metal tumbler. This thing's amazing. Les, thanks for joining the stream. This is like my new favorite cup in the whole Freaking world, it's even got a lid, so I'm not gonna spill it all over the place. There's even some new stickers over there too, some logoed stickers, so that's all good. But again, remember, we've got all the free stickers in the world, thanks to Drew on the channel, all right? He, um, he hooked us up pretty big. I got a whole stack of stickers. You want a free sticker, go to keeponwrenching.com, fill out the form, and uh, you'll be good to go on that one. So we got a bunch of stuff. I honestly, I'm not really sure Focus, focus, focus. We got a lot of projects in the shop today. Um, I'm not even really sure which direction we're gonna go, but here's what I'm excited about, and it has to do with the tank behind me. All right. Got one of those little uh, snake cameras, so we can go and take a look inside of this tank. Not sure how I'm going to uh, do this, but, uh, you didn't get your sticker yet? Hmm. Thought I sent you a sticker. I'll have to double check. But how cool is this? It's a little Wi-Fi controlled camera for, uh, I don't know, going diving down into stuff. It's pretty darn cool. And uh, let's see if I can get this thing to turn on, get it connected. And we're, we're going to take a, take a deep dive <laughs> inside of that gas tank. We're gonna go see if it's lined or if that was just 
gas, you know, that was that was kind of left hanging out. I have no idea. Never seen anything like that. Oh, you got your sticker from the website. Okay, I'll uh, send you one of Drew's too, dude. Um, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and do that. Yeah, you. That's right. You ordered some from the from the uh, from the shop. Let's see if this camera wants to focus here today. Come on, buddy. Don't play games with my heart here. I wonder if I just got her smudged. Let me work on that. Just like that. Cool. There, there, there. Better. More better. More better. So I'm excited about the little snake camera. I think that's going to be cool. And it is February. So Brian is drinking a little bit of beer again. Got Hop Slam Ale in my hand tonight. I'm excited. I'm excited. Crack this bad boy open. I also got myself a cup of coffee because, oof. Weeks are flying and work is picking up. The day job is picking up uh, pretty heavy. So cheers to everybody on the stream. Um, take a sip of your tea, your coffee, your beer, your booze, whatever the hell you got. Uh, let's buckle up. Let's go for a few hours tonight at least. Oh, sweet nectar. All right, I've been dying to go diving into this. So let's go over to camera B. And let's take a look at what's going on with this tank. Oh, Brian T, we also need to look at those fork ears. I've got those over here as well. Let's take a look at that. Brian T needed some fork ears. I have a set, but Brian, I know you're, you're a little bit of a perfectionist, and I'm not sure that these are going to maybe fit the mold for what you're, uh, what you're wanting, but uh, if you need them, there, I got them, and uh, we'll work something out, man. No worries there. So I just want to find a pair of gloves. Before I go diving into this Evapo Rust, and then we're gonna dive into that tank and use that camera, and we're just gonna do cool stuff tonight. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. But first, let's take a look at these fork ears. I told Brian that I would uh, show him these maybe two nights ago, and then I said, I'll be, tonight, tonight I'll do it. And then I never did it. And I'm just a jerk that way, you know? Lead people on. Leading people on. But let's take a look. Fresh out of the Evapo Rust. These look pretty damn nice. This is the non bent one. Let's grab a rag. Oh, God. I just wiped this with a, ooh, drop the, I wiped this with a micro towel. And that's, that's how good these are. These look really, really nice. I would put them on my bike. And again, that's just the, a bath in evaporust. That's pretty much all that was. Those are shiny. This one's nice and straight. You can see that one's really nice and straight right there. And check out the innards on that. That one's nice and clean on the inside. No rust. So evaporust is amazing, amazing stuff. So we got one good one. Well, I guess this one is ding just a little bit right here too. See that? And it's crushed a little bit there. Darn, I thought one of them was good. Let's take this other one out. Let's take a look, give her a little wipe. Man, just a microfiber and uh, giving these parts a little bit of a wipe, these are gonna clean up really, really nice. Yeah, these aren't as nice as I remembered. This one's definitely bent up. But I was just on eBay, I was looking to see um, you know, what these were going for. And I couldn't find a chrome set. So these would have to be straightened. I, I, these may not be the fork ears you're looking for, Brian. Because I know you want minty stuff. You can't put, the, you can't put these on, on, on that bike with that tank that you've got. I don't think you should do that. Yeah, it's all, all bent up. It's not even close to round. So we got that. Oh, well. Like me, I'd probably use those. I, I'm fine with probably using them, bend them back, make them work. What else we got? Got our linkages. God darn, look at that. These were a, these were a mess. Remember, we put these in all greasy last week. I think Vika came in and was like, hey, should wipe some of that grease off of there. Like this ain't gonna take nothing to clean up. Take a look at that. Freaking evaporust, guys. I'm telling you, you should, everybody should have a gallon of that stuff hanging out in the shop. 
Go get that CL. Go get it. Go get it. There we go. Yeah, the dam. Okay, so we got that. That looks great. I have a bunch of other stuff in here. This brake or the Kickstarter, this thing was nasty. Freaking damn near perfect. Look at that. Just wipe it down and the damn thing shines. We're gonna need a new need a new rubber on that. Damn. Dude, I love this stuff where it takes absolutely no effort at all. Clement! I got a, I got a quote. Oh, in, okay. I, mean, I got a quote on hard chroming a set of inner fork tubes. $500. Oof. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think I'd be doing that. That's a lot of money. Shop around, maybe. Zach, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. We're, hey, we need to connect for sure. You might be able to help save my, my terrible frames. Got these all de-rusted. The collets. Is that what they were called? I think they were collets. They're all in here. A little spring. All kinds of good stuff. Little, little parts in there right now, but damn. That could go on the bike. This, go, this is for the Apocalypse bike, so this can go back on the motor. I'm just going to put it all back in here for now because i got to rinse it with water. Don't forget to rinse your parts off with water when it comes out of the, that evapo rust because if it does dry on a surface, it will get really kind of sticky and gross, and then you got to clean that up. But I am satisfied with, these brake arm, with the uh, brake arm here. I am satisfied with that. I like it. And unfortunately, these are not as straight as I remember them. Big old crease. Big old crease right there. And a big old, not quite as big, but a big old crease right there. But damn, do they shine. The chrome is in really great shape on these. These would clean up. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. All right. Progress. It's kind of nice because it's like progress while you sleep. That stuff just kind of goes to town and, and works through stuff. It's fantastic. All right. Oh, I have totally forgot about this. Little addition to the shop. <laughs> I, I wanted to like steal one of these from a hardware store for years. They're so damn useful. They're actually up on eBay. I think I shared a link in the, in the Keep On Wrenching group on Facebook. Go check that out for sure. But man, never wonder what you got to go pick up at the, at, the, uh, at the hardware store ever again. Um, you can just figure out exactly what you need, walk in, walk out. I think having one of these bolt guides is uh, really, really key. You can just know exactly what you want all the time. There's nothing worse than like poking through all those bins and doing that. How long did you have them in the bath? Um, I would say three days. I think about three days they've been kind of just laying there. And the cool thing is, is you can leave your stuff in evaporust for a long time. Um, it doesn't really cause any damage or anything like that. In fact, um, when I'm working on tanks, like say like during the winter, um, one of the things that I'll do is I'll actually just fill the tank with evaporust. I can get a little bit expensive, but it does work. And uh, no harm, no foul. So here, I want to give you guys a close look at what came out of this tank when I started cleaning it. Again, I just filled it with vinegar, white vinegar, and I went to the tub and started dumping stuff out. This is what it was. It's really thin, almost like a tissue paper, almost. I don't know if that's a liner or if maybe if it's just old gas, you know, dried up in the bottom of the tank. I wish there was like a way to know you know, what exactly this was, but man, it, a ton of it came out. I think um, I've got a clogged drain right now because I didn't expect that and a whole bunch of it went down my drain. So I got to figure out what the hell, I got to get that figured out. But yeah, this is what came out and a lot of people were coming in saying, yeah, it's definitely a liner. Um, it wasn't red coat. What's that other liner? What's the other liner um, that, that, that people use that is supposedly impenetrable? So if it's, if that other, what, what was the name of that stuff? I forget. You guys will let me know in the chat what it was. Um, 
if it was that liner, I wouldn't think that it would be coming out like this because this doesn't really seem that impenetrable to me. It almost feels like, I don't know. It reminds me of like some of the, the stuff I've seen on the insides of carburetors. Any guesses? Any guesses? Man, up to 16 viewers, 17 minutes into the stream. <laughs> We're going to get a viewer every minute of the stream. How cool is that? Thanks so much for joining the stream, guys. Any ideas what the hell this stuff was? I'm hoping it was just old gas. That's, that's what I'm hoping. Um, but I'm going to find out. We're going to find out here in just one moment because we're going to dump this tank out because it's been sitting, <coughs> let's see, it's been sitting, I think, three days. I think uh, same deal. I put the, the vinegar in, this batch of vinegar in um, when I did the evaporust on those fork ears. So let's get this out of here. Got my rusty rims. I don't, I don't need those right here right now. I'm going to tear into this tank. Yeah, it looks delicious. I definitely would not eat it. Um, probably would be the end of the live stream. Who knows what that stuff is made out of. I forget the name of that liner, though. And people are like, oh, you're screwed. It's, it's over, dude. New Zealand Kane, thanks so much for joining, man. Awesome. I've always wanted to visit there. Seems like a fascinating place. Beautiful place. Maybe I'll get to do that one day, but thanks for joining, man. Hope the stream is looking solid tonight. We're going to dive into this 125S tank. It is full of vinegar. Let's test if I have my sense of smell back after having COVID. Hmm. I can smell it a little. So maybe a little bit of an improvement on that. So that's kind of good. I could, I could smell it a little bit. <clears throat> For the most part, I haven't been able to smell anything since October. It has been a real drag, let me tell you. All right. So you can see in here, plum full of vinegar. I'm going to grab myself a bottle. And my funnel. Oh, my God, look how organized I am tonight. It's a freaking live stream miracle. It's a live stream miracle. Cheers, Kane. I love it when people say that. Cheers. Cheers. I've always liked that greeting. Um, let's go like this. Pick this thing up. Hopefully, we can get most of it in. Ah! I love the Red Gorilla. The Red Gorilla bin. <laughs> is so damn useful for stuff like this because you can just contain your mess like nobody's business. Let me give you a little bit of a look-see at this. Look at this uh, precarious situation I'm in right now. But look at that, it's just falling into there. This Red Gorilla, man, this thing just... Best 20 bucks you can spend, man. Go Google Red Gorilla and get yourself one of these darn things. Honestly, that vinegar doesn't look that bad. I mean, it was white vinegar. It's got a slight tinge to it now, but not nearly as bad as, bad as I've seen before. I think it's old gas. Found the same thing in a tank a few days ago, sitting for a long time, 1970. John, thank you. I am crossing my fingers that that is all it is. But what we're gonna do, again, once I get this tank kind of drained out, we're gonna take the snake camera and we're gonna take a look inside and see what the inside of this tank looks like. It does not look dirty. It's not rusty, it's not filthy. The vinegar actually looks pretty clean. I can't believe I'm, I'm playing with vinegar like this right now. Am I getting a little bit of a whiff of it? Getting a little bit of a whiff of the vinegar, um, but not crazy. I don't think I'll retch. <clears throat> we don't want that. We don't want to want me gagging on the live stream here. So we go. Let's shake. Let's see if anything kind of comes out of here. I think I might have got most of it out. But again, you see on this tank, there's something inside of it for sure. There's some kind of a, a tan coating inside of there, and I'm not sure. 
Not sure, guys. If you're enjoying the stream, hit that like button. Share it with your friends, guys. We're trying to break 30 viewers tonight. The record is 29. So if you got a motorcycle buddy, you like restoring bikes or whatever it is, hit that like button. It'll help it get out there just a little bit more. Really curious on how this little camera is going to work. I got to step away here just for a second. Did get myself a little bit of a whiff up to 25 just like that, man. Ask and you shall receive, huh, people? You guys are incredible. Incredible, John. I really, really, really hope that you are right. Right now, we're going to get the little camera out. We're going to uh, go snake inside this tank. And let's see. Let's just go and see uh, what's going on here. So this was kind of a cool little tool. You download an app. So you turn on the app. And then uh, it like has like a built-in Wi-Fi. So it just kind of connects to this. So we'll turn this on, go to my Wi-Fi settings, and see if this bad boy shows up here like it did before. Come on. Tested it out, man. I was like looking down all kinds of stuff. It was pretty cool. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. It showed up for a second. Let's get it. What's going to, you're buying another motorcycle tomorrow? <laughs> hey man, congratulations. I mean, you, you want it, you know you want it. Don't lie. Let me try to reset this, or, or wait, did it go? Ah, I think it's gonna go now. This is really neat. So this thing was like 30 bucks on Amazon. So I was just like, ah, eh, why not? Let's give it a try. And boom. Yeah, this is gonna work. So basically, I'm gonna try to give you an angle of what we're looking at through the little snake eye on this thing. And uh, let's do it. So best way to do this, this is totally ad-libbing here, guys. Totally ad-libbing, no idea what's going on. So we're gonna turn this on. Let me get you propped up here. And I'm gonna see if I can give you a nice shot straight down on this. This might work. Let's get you down a little closer, get a little glare off of there. And let's take this thing inside. Oh, cool, I can watch it on my monitor as well. Yeah, like 30 bucks. Whoa, and it works. It's got a little, I can turn the light up or down, but uh, are we ready to go for a little splooshy sploosh inside of here? Let's do it. Let's get my little tags out of here and let's go, let's go for a deep dive into this tank. Little bit of surface rust down there. I don't see like a wrecked liner or anything. Let's get in over here. Kind of looking at the top of the tank right now. way down deep inside the tank now. I don't see a liner on that. This is the top of the tank. A little bit of rust in the top. I didn't fill it totally full with vinegar. Look at how the vinegar just cleaned that up. Yeah, so I just gotta go a little bit fuller with my vinegar. Let's get down if I can just a little bit. Okay, there's something suspect over here in the corner back here. What is that? John, I see your tank is coated already. Same for the tank I cleaned, the same buildup as you have. So it's lined already? I don't mind my nest alerts. But yeah, so there is a little liner in there, it looks like. Maybe it's hard to tell. But this is what I was really looking at, was this. And that has to be a liner. But it doesn't go all the way down. It doesn't go all the way down. This is the coolest little freaking tool I bought in a while. I have to go try to get down here. And the wire is really firm. 
So you can really get it and control it. Like there's something there kind of on the wall. It could have came out already. It's not what I would have expected. That material that came out wasn't what I would have expected from a, a, a tank liner. This thing's freaking cool. I don't want to bore you guys with this. If you guys are like hating this, I can move on. But I'm down on the right, so like the left side over like on the reserve side of the tank, I think. Let's get down in here. Not a lot of rust. Trying to see if I can just get like a, I feel like Ballard right now, looking at the Titanic. That's pointing straight down. Hmm. Let's go down, I'm gonna kind of walk this edge down here. Oh, this is so cool though. Yep. There, um, God, who was, who, who was saying that? John, I think you're right. I think it's just old gas. Can you guys see this? Oh, man, how do I get you an angle on this? Let's make sure you're pointed the right way here. Let's see. Okay, you're upside down right now. That's the only tricky thing. But here, look down in the bottom here. That's the stuff that was coming out. I can totally see it. That stuff's flaking off. So that the, this uh, thing just needs to be filled with vinegar. I'm going to throw nuts and bolts in it. And it's going to go for a rotation party one afternoon. And probably knock the rest of that out. I don't think what was coming out of here is a liner at all. Not at all. That is just old gas in the bottom of the tank. There you can see it really good. Kane, I am drinking a Hop Slam Ale tonight. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a powerful beer. I forget what ABV it is, but uh, it'll put you on your butt. Two of them are, are usually pretty good. How freaking cool is that? That's cool. That's damn cool. And again, like, look at how it it's keeps it, its form. Right, so it's, it's very rigid like this. And you can just mold it. A tankoscopy, totally. But yeah, I can just like bend it to whatever shape that I want to get down into here. And just slide that in and take a look at it. And my phone's over here, but obviously you guys can see what's going on. This is the best 30 bucks I've spent in a long time. That is just old gas down there. I do not see a liner. There, that, this white thing right here though, that, that puzzles me. It looks like it ends. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, but this damn thing is freaking cool. Highly suggest that you guys get one of those. How useful is that? You'd, I would have no idea, but I, I am pretty confident that John is right, that the stuff that came flaking out of there for sure was just old gas. And I can get that out, that's no problem. But once we get to that point, we're gonna have to do that. Man, like, shoot, dude, we can do all kinds of stuff with this. I wonder if I can put this down in, inside of here. Take a look at, the, at our piston. This might just be the colonoscopy um, live stream tonight. This might be just what we're freaking doing tonight. Let's see, turn this back on. Oh, I might have zoinked it when I turned it off. Let's get this thing going again. I'm kind of curious, like, I'm thinking of all kinds of neat little uses for that, um, that, that little tool. Let's go back to settings. 
Wi-Fi. And it's just neat because it's like you switch your home Wi-Fi over to the Wi. There's a Wi-Fi in that device, which is pretty brilliant. Uh, screwing everything up tonight, guys. 24 viewers holding on tight. Yeah, human origin. I, I will admit I did stick it um, in my ear just a little bit just because I was curious. Um, not very far, though. You know, just, just a little ways. All right, you guys should be able to see that. Now, let's take a look inside. Da -da 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 Ooh, there's the top of our piston. Yeah, I won't stick it in any orifices, guys. Don't worry. But I did. I mean, I think anybody who would have gotten one of these would have like stuck it in their ear just a little ways. Carbon buildup. You can see all that. It does look a little crusty, but keep in mind that I have like um, fogged everything. And there's oil in, you know, I've, I've kept it so it doesn't rust while it's like just sitting here. So it's going to look a little shinier than normal. You would have stuck it in your nose. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if we can take a look at the cam chain tensioner. Wouldn't that be something? Oh my God, it fits along the side here. Oh my God, <laughs> I, I could do this all day. All day, I could sit here and just like look at things like this. Inside there, that valve looks pretty rusty. Look at that. I don't wanna lap valves. This one doesn't look bad. This one doesn't look bad at all. Hey, Drew. Welcome to the show. Yeah, that's dirty. That's exhaust. I would expect that to be kind of kind of muddy. I don't know. I wish I could get down in here on this cam chain tensioner, that little pad. I don't think I can see that though. How freaking cool is that? This is why I bought it though, was to do this tank, to look at the tank, get inside there and see what's going on. Um, let me find the name of the camera. Nidage, N-I-D-A-G-E, a Nidage camera. Let me actually grab the box and see if there's a uh, see if there's a model number on it super useful I'm digging it here we go here's the box I mean for 30 bucks I think it's totally worth totally worth 30 bucks Let's see what is it called here we go Nidage Wi-Fi endoscope camera it was on eBay or on Amazon. That's what you're looking for. I really like how it is. I, I just like how the wire is like so firm. Bam. If you need to go around a corner, you can just bend it and do that. That's pretty damn cool. God damn, what else should we look at? What else should we look at? I want to look at all kinds of stuff now. It's like a new toy in the shop. Hmm. I guess I don't really have that much that I could actually look at, but yeah, nine age, 30 bucks. Had it, I ordered it, I think I ordered it on Tuesday. We got it. 
So let me go back to my home Wi-Fi. We'll quit this now. I feel really good about that though. I feel better about that tank. I was a little bit worried. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried about that. You can, you can, you can. There's a brightness settings on it as well. So you can go, let's see, little buttons. You can go a little bit brighter, off, brighter. So there's three modes of light, one, two, three, and then you can go off. Just like that, 27 viewers, three away from the record, guys. Three away from the records. Keep sharing that stream. We're only 37 minutes in. We're at 27 viewers. It's amazing. Yeah, this thing is uh, it's pretty cool. Now, I, I, I don't know. Durability-wise, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of be careful with it. Um, Keep it in a, in a safe spot so it doesn't rattle around and get all bent up. I mean, it's not something you're going to use every day, right? But for something like this and checking a tank, you, you totally could do that, Tyler. You could totally look, at frame, look, for, look for cracks in the frame on that. This is freaking cool, guys. 30 bucks. I'm in. I'm in. I'm a believer. I'm getting all kinds of trouble with that. I could get all kinds of trouble with this. Hmm. Go take a look at, at, at stuff. I think that's uh, fantastic. And honestly, I got a little peace of mind on that tank because I do think that is just old gas. And it's because it was all in the bottom. It's, it's all just in the bottom kind of flaking off of there. So I think that, that's, that's pretty cool. Loving it. Love it. All right, finally. Let's move on to something else here. I've been dying to tear into these carburetors. Because I see all of these like horror shows that people have with uh, these old carburetors and sometimes they look like, you know, oh, Clement, let me, uh, I lost it. Where the hell did I put it? I just walked away with it. <laughs> here it is. I'll just leave it right here so you guys can look it up. Got to find a safe place for this. Where am I going to put this? I'm going to put it up here for now. We'll leave that there until we need it again, okay? God darn. I, I just like it when you buy something and it kind of like meets your expectations a little bit. Yeah. Nightage inspection camera. Yeah, I love that. That is a fantastic addition to the shop. And I like that it didn't cost a million dollars. Like when I bought that, uh, the, the, the spoke torque tool, I think it was like a hundred dollars. And it didn't even come with the bit that I needed. So that kind of sucked. But yeah, Kane, we're, we're, uh, we're drinking the, uh, the hop slam. That's what we're drinking tonight. It doesn't say the ABV on it. Oh, 10%. That's a 10%, an exceptionally aromatic blend of hops combined in this balanced interpretation of the double IPA style, best enjoyed as fresh as possible, Hop Slam. It's a 10% beer. It'll get you cranked. <laughs> I drink one tonight. That is it. Otherwise, I'll be slurring my words and, and all that. So let's tear into this 1968 CB350 carburetor. Um, uh, this will polish up, no problem. <laughs> yeah, no, that ain't polishing up. Try and stay a little bit organized tonight. I'll get a little mat going, throw my bolts in. I've been just kind of really curious to see like, okay, what's going on with these? Do I got to be on the hunt for carburetors or what the hell's going on? Thanks so much for joining the stream tonight, guys. This is so much fun. The email newsletter went out last night. That took me like a ridiculous amount of time to put together. Um, so if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, go to keeponwrenching.com and do that. That would be freaking awesome. 
Very, very awesome, actually. And we have got an alert from Dad. Lindquist just donated $100. Firing off the Airwolf. $100, dude. $100, dude. That's too much. Um, thanks for the support on that. That's incredible. Um, thank you. That's all I can really say, man. Um, you know, your message here. Thanks for all the great videos. My pleasure on the videos. I'm so glad that the videos are, are helping people out. Um, I get messages every day from people. Wow, Dad Lindquist donated $100 to keep on wrenching. That's, that's incredible. That's, that's, uh, that's something else right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That like really does ensure, um, <clears throat> that, that doesn't, like it just keeps this, this, uh, this whole thing going, guys. Um, Cause now we'll, we'll, get, we'll get some parts. We'll do some other stuff. Yeah, show some love. Uh, to Lindquist in the chat. I don't know if he's here, uh, what's going on. That, that alert fired off. So uh, thank you. That is, that's awesome. Wow. Um, never in my wildest dreams did I think that uh, <clears throat> these live streams would take off to the point and, and kind of garner the support and the enthusiasm and the community and everything that's going on. Um, that's incredible. Awesome. Um, these look pretty, pretty toasty. The diaphragms look pretty bad. Um, these, ha I can already see cracks in them. Again, if you need to get these off, there's a little tab. Come on, focus. Focus. There, there's a little tab right here that you can kind of pull up underneath and kind of get it started. See that little tab right there? And that'll pull off. So this is going to be a bad diaphragm for sure. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate that. Um, I really enjoyed, I, like, I've really kind of gotten back into the videos a little bit too. I've been trying to do more and more of those. And just trying to do some off-topic stuff. I'm, I'm glad it's motivating people to go and save these motorcycles. So it's cracked. See the little cracks? I'm trying to find that focal point again. It's so hard. I think one thing that I did learn last week, though, is that it does shoot a little bit better from this side. Just let me go over here, see if I can get you a little bit better light. So these cracks here, you know, I would probably want to replace these just to be safe because, you know, a diaphragm leak be a bad thing. Seriously, lit a fire under my backside. Well, man. You know, hey, you got to leave early. After I get done tearing apart this first carburetor, let's go take a look at some of that work that you did on that tank. It's absolutely amazing. So basically, I'm just kind of inspecting the rest of it. I don't see any tears or anything on this, but this outer edge is pretty bad. I'm not sure because I can put a sealant in around this. <clears throat> Back to work, Kane. Thanks so much for stopping by. I uh, hope you can come check out the, the, the recording live stream. Um, it'll be up. It'll be up probably mid tomorrow. It should be available, I think. So, man, thanks for stopping by. Uh, greetings from America to New Zealand. Be well. Be safe. Be well out there, man. Let's see if I can get this in here. Get There's that little clip down in the bottom. You just got to springy spring it out. Getting too good at this. Do not lose this. They do not make them. And they break. They're brittle. Brittle, brittle. Don't break them. Needle. This doesn't look too bad. I've wanted to like look at replacing one of these. I'm going to do a video on replacing a diaphragm. I have a new diaphragm um, in my box. There's a trick to it. It's something to do with that plastic ring. So I'm gonna investigate that and uh, we'll do a video on that for sure. I think that'll be a really good video <clears throat> on replacing the diaphragm. Inside, this side doesn't look bad at all. Looks a little grimy down inside there. Ooh, the light is way better on this side. I just gotta remember to shoot on this side. And also in the chat, guys, don't forget, um, talk about what you're working on. Saying all about what I'm doing. Brian T, no rush. I'm going to look at the CL tomorrow evening with any luck and inability to resist urges. I'll have my second CL before finishing this one. It's kind of how it works, man. 
and then you're going to have five motorcycles. Um, <laughs> it all starts with one, and then it gets to two, and then you have three. I think I have, let's see, one, two, three, four. I have like five and a half motorcycles right now, all in various states of, of disrepair. That one's pretty dirty. Clean that off a little bit. And the main thing that I really need to get into right now is, is I need to get on, on a polishing storm. Like I need to, I, you know, like I, I polished a lot when, when NFL football was on. And I, I seem to get a lot of work done when, when the game is on. So, maybe during the Super Bowl, I'll get motivated again. Ooh, seeing something right here, though. That looks like a, looks like a pinhole. Yeah, that's a damn hole in that bowl. We got a hole in the bowl. That's no good. Somebody said that I could use like a red coat to line that bowl. Could also try what, I think Terrence, Terrence, he braids some stuff shut too. Um, yeah, <laughs> Brian. The Vikings were good. They just had bad luck and a lot of injuries. We can get this to pop off here. This is this is like kind of a the reveal moment. This is where you're gonna know like how bad is it if the person drained them before they parked the bike. I get this off here, man. Usually these this is not uh, usually that difficult to get these to pop off. I took all the screws off. Get my little rubber hammer. If I can find my rubber, there's my rubber hammer. I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Man, we almost had 30 viewers. Almost. I was hoping that uh, the colonoscopy camera was going to be uh, be reeling in the viewers. There we go. A little few taps with the rubber hammer. This has got the old square floats in it. This doesn't look too bad, a little tarnished, right? There's some sticky, gooey, gooey goodness in there for sure. An average QB, Kirk Cousins, like, well, he, didn't he rate, like, like top five? You know, he's not, I, don't, I don't think the Vikings problem is Kirk Cousins. I don't want to go on a Vikings thing, because um, I know, like, not everybody cares about football and stuff, but I don't think Kirk Cousins is the problem with our team right now. So this is my first time ever seeing these little square floats. Wouldn't that be something if these were good? Usually they're kind of a round float, but these are square ones. Who knew? Have to go to CMSNL, their website, and go and look at the diagram to see what's going down there. Last I'm down here in Tampa, things are heating up. Yeah, what, how, many, how many fans are they letting in? How many fans are they letting into the Super Bowl? What, 20,000? That was all they were going to let in? Oh, yeah, I have a question for you guys, too. I have a question. Ooh. This is a little dirty. Definitely not just sliding apart um, like things tend to do. Clearwater. Clear, yeah, Clearwater's a good town. I've been to Clearwater <clears throat> a couple times. Got a really nice Airbnb with a few uh, few buddies one weekend. That pin don't want to come out of there. There's a little pin in here holding these floats in. I'd like to get those out. Yeah, we had this Airbnb kind of right on the, there's like the, I don't know, canals or harbor or whatever. It was really neat. Really good time. Just trying to push this out. Try and get a little movement out of it. Just being careful with it. Weather sucks right now. Here in Michigan, uh, we got a winter storm going on right now. 
Um, I was actually, the wind is supposed to really pick up here. Um, so I'm a little worried. Um, like, the internet might, might crap out tonight, guys. Uh, it, it's very possible um, that that may happen. So if that happens, we'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Got that pin to move just a little bit by tapping it. I'm going to grab my punch. Be gentle. Gentle is always the key word, right? And see if I can just finesse this just a little bit. Usually if you can get one end of it, you're usually good. There we go. That's all that needed. Miserable in Seattle. Yeah, it's a full-on winter deal going on right now. I'm going to go grab uh, Drew's needle nose. And we'll pull those out. And that's cool. And then we can test these floats, see if these floats are good. Mm. Come on, buddy. Let's see if I can give this a little... There we go. A little more progress. Don't want to mar this up, if at all possible. There we go. Got that pin out of there. Put that pin aside. Now this float should pull right out of here. I'm trying to see if I can hear. So what you kind of want to do is you want to just... I hear, I hear, I hear fluid in them. Yep. Here's a little bit of fluid in there. That sucks. Pliers for taking the fork tubes apart. I mean, you just need some snap rings. Snap ring pliers would be really, really good for you there. You need to get those two snap rings out. Ooh, this hop slime is good tonight. Let's see. Oh my God, I almost closed my chat. All right, gently see if we can get these two jets out of here. Mm. Those are pretty seized on there too. But yeah, I hope the power doesn't go out tonight. Now, I really don't want to use a pair of pliers on pulling these jets out because the more I've been reading, um, I gotta, yeah, I gotta find the pinhole. There's something in there. There's something in here, Zach. A little bit of fluid in there. I gotta find it. It might just be on, there's little welds on the inside. I wonder if that's where it is. How would we find that? How would we find where that pinhole is? Those are cool. I like that. I like it when you find something new. Find something kind of fresh. Go ahead and get this out, see if that falls out. Oh. Ooh, it's an adventure tonight. So, the 68, the 68 is um, not looking fantastic so far in a lot of areas. Oh yeah, put it in some water. We could do that. That'd be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be thrilling? I swear to God, I have like the most thrilling live stream um, on the internet right now. Here's the question I have for you guys. These plugs, <clears throat> I remember probably a year ago, this little tan plug. Where's my pointer? This, little t this plug here. They don't make them anymore, but there was somebody who was manufacturing some of these plugs. And what I'd like to do is get a bunch of them and start doing this, because I've never taken one of these out. And apparently you do need to get in there to clean those passages out. Um, but they don't make that part anymore. So if any of you recall who was making these, I think they had like a 3D printer or something, and they were making them. Mm, God, I hate using a pair of pliers on 
on pulling these out. So I'm just going to use like a little bit of cloth around the edge. Let's see if I can get it out. Well, I sounded real Canadian there. Get it out. Get in your boat. Have some toast. Come on. And, oh, that moved a little bit. We might get one. No. Shoot. Anybody remember where the hell you could buy those? Those little plugs. That's what I'm really curious about. It doesn't look terrible. But that float, this uh, busted float sucks. And the diaphragm. The, the, that that kind of sucks too. Talking about this little, it's like a little, it's like a nylon or a plastic plug. Come on, focus cameras, work with me. This thing, it's a little plug. It pops out of there, and apparently there's a little port in there that you're supposed to clean. They don't make them anymore. But somebody was making them. Somebody, somebody was uh, making them on a 3D printer. So this one's got some other adjustments and things on it, too. Let's see. Just trying to kind of familiarize myself with what's going on here. Okay, that's your, f your fuel mix screw there. And golly. A boot. I got no problem with Canadians. I grew up, you know, literally like two hours from the Canadian border. And I went and drank in Canada when I was 19, because I could. So I got nothing against them. These are not going to be easy to get out. I would like to, <clears throat> back to what I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted. Hey, Tony. Welcome to the stream, man. We're tearing apart some carburetors. We're looking at gas tanks. We're doing all kinds of stuff, man. You're making progress on your build. I've been following your Instagram account. Good stuff there. I hope the podcast is doing well, too. You got some good guests going through there. Some good, good conversations going on. If you guys aren't familiar with the uh, Five Dirty Bikers podcast, go look that up. A bunch of good motorcycle people talking about motorcycle things. For the most part. For the most part. It's not all motorcycles, but... But yeah, it's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, man. We're doing that whole one piece at a time kind of thing. I got this one. Got this one to one to come out. I did break a fingernail doing it though. Just crack that fingernail. I can feel it. That's like. Oh boy. It's always something, isn't it? But this one, this little bugger don't want to move. Oh, working on carburetors. We got to have two of them. We got to have two of them for the Apocalypse bike. I think it's moving. Don't want to bend that part. Ugh, and I'd hate to uh, mar these up. I'm going to try... Do this gently. No, mm, no, nope. nope, that one ain't gonna come out of there. I need some deep creep. That's what I need. I don't have any deep creep right now in the shop. All I've got is WD, and WD doesn't really do the job. You know, when we're trying to take some things apart, um, it doesn't quite get down in there. Now it's a miracle liquid for so many other things, but not so much for taking stuff apart. Yeah, man, carbs are, are not my favorite thing in the world. Um, oh man, especially on these old bikes, man. Especially on these old bikes. I think I just need to let this one sit for a little while. If anything, I might even just throw it in the ultrasonic and call it a day. Now we got a pinhole here. How bad is this pinhole? Does Mr. Pinhole go all the way through? Let me find just a little piece of wire. 
I think I got a guitar string over here. Where's my guitar string? There's my guitar string, guys. You should just, I mean, I'm so organized now. I am so organized now. It's so nice, but let's see. Let's see how bad this is. Let's see if we can see it through the other side. This is a really big hole. That's, that's a big one. It's a big hole, guys. Throw the heat to it. Yeah. That may be what we do. I'll let it soak in. Because the one came out okay. It wasn't too bad. Where is this going? Where is it going? I got to cut this thing straight. Got to cut it straight. This ain't working. I got to cut it straight, and then I got to let it fall on the floor so I can step on it later when I'm not wearing my shoes and get a guitar string in my toe. Have you ever gotten a guitar string in your toe? Sometimes I put a few wraps of masking tape around my pliers, only get a few chances at it in the teeth. Yep, that's a good idea, dude. Yeah, boy, that's all the way through. That is going... Wow, okay, we're discovering all kinds of things. This is actually going all the way into the overflow tube. Maybe, hey, I bet they just did that. Hey Brad, welcome to the stream. Maybe, this looks like a pretty damn perfect little hole right here. I wonder if that's just how these were. We're seeing all kinds of differences on these old carbs. But yeah, for sure, it just goes, it's going straight up into the uh, overflow tube. You know how the other models, let me grab, let me grab, uh, let me grab some, some carburetor supplies because I think it's just like one of those things that we have to do. So here's another carburetor that I've got over here. And there's the bottom of the bowl. See how there's a little drain spout on it? I don't think this old one has it. The old one don't have it, but look how organized I am. This is all my carburetor goodies. All my good carburetor stuff. Okay, so that, that hole in the bottom is not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I'm not gonna fret about that. I'm all good. Hanging out at 21. This is awesome. So yeah, that's not bad. It's just a matter of getting getting this out of here. Um, I mean, how bad do I want to get it out of there? I mean, it would be nice because I could throw all this stuff into the ultrasonic. Oh, got it. Just had to put a little bit of just had to put a little bit of muscle into it. You know, you get some new O-rings for these, and these will probably be just fine. Clean them up. Throw them in the ultrasonic cleaner. Call it good. I just got one more. Or actually, we got those two to go. And those ones, that's right. You got to tap these out. And then this one, that one doesn't have a, that one should have a black plug on it, but it doesn't. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. Half of the parts are probably bad, Brian. Half of the parts are probably bad. I don't know. None of them probably work well. But this is the bummer. We'll, we'll have to try fix that. that. I mean, that might be another damn video. Another video, carburetor videos would be really popular to do. So we could do changing a diaphragm. We could do fixing a hole in your float bowl. The possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless with what we're doing here. So here's all my parts for this one carburetor. I'd like to keep it all together. Is that insane? Um, I would like to just keep it all together, mate stuff back up with what, what was going on, and it will be just fine. So I'm just gonna throw all this into a Ziploc bag. Floats are cheap. Floats aren't cheap, dude. Let's go look, let's go look online. Let, let's take a break here. Let's go take a look at your paint job and let's look up floats. Floats are not cheap. Like they're like 25, 30 bucks for one of those floats. I'm pretty sure, especially as I need this fancy schmancy uh, um, vintage 68 model. Um, 
I don't think that's going to be very cheap, but let's go and find out. Again, if you're watching the stream, you want a free sticker, go to keeponwrenching.com and get your free sticker. There's a form right at the bottom of the homepage. Go to the website down at the bottom, fill out the form. You're going to get it. Drew, you have a good condition, 68 old style carburetor with a good float. Um, why are you asking everybody else? Maybe plastic ones are cheap. Yeah, that's, that's an option. I'm sure there's aftermarket ones, but let's do CB350 float. Oh, no, I don't want the float height. I want the float. Thirty bucks. Common motor, thirty bucks. Here's one, a one seventy-five of this. Oh, those are four fifties. eBay. So I don't trust buying any of these parts on eBay, man. Um, or even the Amazon parts. I'm 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 leery of of doing that. So here's some plastic floats. I don't know if those would work. They're they're kind of square, but here's some 25, 25 bucks. Who's that? Randex. I don't know who that. Dime City. They're getting twenty five bucks for a new float. Yeah, dude, they're twenty five bucks. I don't think that's cheap. What kind of money are you making, Brian? What kind of money are you making? That's a lot of money. I mean, I spent thirty bucks and I got a really cool freaking uh, colonoscopy camera. If you guys uh, missed that earlier. Um, you're going to have to go back and re-watch re the stream. or well, We might play with it a little bit more here in a little while. Yeah, I, I don't know. What do you, how, what's your guys' vibe on uh, buying parts from, oops, buying parts from Amazon? Some stuff I can get off eBay, and I don't feel too bad about it, but some of it, let's go to our, kind of our regular suspects. Let's go to some of our... Like the, I, I, I definitely don't trust Amazon motorcycle replacement carburetor parts. I don't think that's good. Common Motor, they've got theirs. We already looked at that. Dime City, 350 Twin, 2562. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Buyer beware. I totally agree, man. I 100% agree, Brad. I agree. It's hit and miss. Yeah, you just don't know. You, you don't know what you're going to get. But first, guys, I know um, Brian T, he has to leave. Um, so we need to take a look at what this guy did here. Um, number one, here's his, his motorcycle tank. He did a two-tone paint job. Um, Brian, feel free to share your process in the, in the chat. Um, kind of let people know what you did on that. But that came out incredible. That is so nice. And uh, the question I had is, did you paint? did you paint the pinstripe or did you pinstripe it? So this is what's going on, man. If you're not in the Keep On Wrenching group, uh, make sure you join up because everybody's sharing um, all of their different projects, everything, people asking questions, everybody's helping out. Um, well, we had 108 members or something right now. It's a really good group. You had some other photos here. Oh, awesome. Mike, uh, if Mike's here, he uh, got the Keep On Wrenching free sticker. He put it on his workbench or on his uh, toolbox. Nice craftsman box there, jealous. Looks good. Looks even better with the Keep On Wrenching logo on it. That's freaking cool. Um, and that, oh, yep, here it is. Let's go to this. I'm trying to figure out what song you're listening to on this video. It's not, yeah, this music in the background is not uh, what, I, what I would have expected from you, Brian. Definitely not. And you painted the chrome as well. So did you um, do anything special with the chrome? Because um, I know painting the chrome on mine, I mean, I just scuffed that stuff up pretty good to make sure that it stuck. So that'd be huge. But yeah, look at the fenders, everything. All of this came out super well. Love that. I love the attention to detail that you put into that, man. Uh, and it's like, got almost like, this is before you put clear on it, but I, I actually really like that matte look. Oh, Lindsay Sterling, she's a violinist, okay. She obviously has a drum machine too. <laughs> I 
I did not think you that 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 was your jam, man. Now, one jam that I, I will say, guys. So this uh, past weekend, I listened to the new ACDC album. It's pretty damn good. Like, like no joke. Um, it's a pretty damn good album. So if you like some good rock, and I mean it's classic ACDC because all their songs sound the same, but it's really good. It is really, 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 really good album. Okay, oh, we're going back to the browser. That's right. So, okay, so he's working on that. That's amazing. You're throwing all the details in there. Drew, he's like sitting on the mother load of freaking CL exhaust systems here. I mean, you think about it, each one of these sets of pipes is 400 bucks, easy, right? You could sell those for, for, for 400 bucks, as is. And he goes and polishes these up and they look absolutely fantastic. They're complete with all the heat shields. That's incredible. Look at that. <laughs> you don't find them in that condition, man. You just don't find them in that condition. Again, if you haven't joined the Keep On Wrenching group yet, you need to do that. Brad, he got his sticker on his fridge. Honored about that. We got the Keep On Wrenching sticker, the free sticker. Again, it's a free sticker. Go to keeponwrenching.com. At the bottom, there's a little form. Fill out the form and I will mail you a sticker. I will mail you a sticker. There's some behind the scenes stuff that I throw out on there as well. Um, this paint booth thing has me fascinated. Somebody made a paint booth and they were showing all the details. Robert, he was doing that. He did like a box fan with an exhaust system. <clears throat> that was fascinating. Look at this, somebody used like their backyard patio gazebo and made a paint booth. I've got a really, I got an idea for, for making a, a paint booth. I'm, I'm gonna make a video about that too. Um, and uh, I think it'll be really, really neat. So yeah, keep on wrenching group. We're rocking it, doing cool stuff. Yeah, those old exhaust systems are really hard to find. Did anybody ever help Michelle here? A replacement for sale. Yeah, I, I would just buy a replacement in that situation, I think. Plastic well, okay, but look at this. I, like, I don't think I even got involved in this one. And man, the group came in, threw out some great, uh, great deals. Yeah, Drew, you're, you're gonna be a rich man. And then Brian, he didn't get his sticker yet, so he just brought it up on his iPad. We're, we're a resourceful bunch. <laughs> Good stuff, I'm loving it. But again, God, I, I got the stack of stickers that Drew donated to the channel, and I wanna give them all out. Um, so make sure you request your free sticker on that. And then, dudes, we, we crossed uh, 6,000 subscribers today on the channel. So we are over 6,000 subscribers uh, since this whole fiasco kind of started. Take a look at this. 524,000 views on the chrome polishing. Chrome spray paint has 452,000. Some of my older videos, they're still hanging strong. They're doing all right. Uh, but 38,000 polishing aluminum, and it kind of goes on and on and on from there. The support on the YouTube channel has been uh, phenomenal. Uh, it's been amazing. So I uh, haven't done a whole lot with the website here recently. Um, I got that form up last night and that's really about all, all I could really get to because the e-newsletter went out. So make sure you sign up for that newsletter. Hey, Brian, DM me on Instagram and I'll get you a shirt and some stickers out. Tony, that'd be freaking amazing, man. I will do that. I will do that for sure, man. Reproduction panels for my CL online. So there are some really good reproduction. I bought a set of them. I think they're the, I think they're this I think they're the ones that are on the apocalypse bike honestly um, and they're 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 totally fine they're they're perfect yeah these are the ones I think it was 50 or 60 bucks for the pair but they're 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 molded they're hard plastic they're they're accurate they're the right size they're everything these are really good. These I did get off an eBay store and uh, they're reproduction. They aren't original, um, but man, I, I thought they cleaned up really, really well and they, and they did, did nice. I mean, it's like, kind of like what Brad said earlier. I mean, it's hit and miss. We're up at 26 viewers, guys. We're four away. We're four away from the record, guys. Share the stream, hit the like button. Let's get to 30. 
29 is the record of concurrent viewers at one time going, or simultaneous users at one time. And uh, man, we're, 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 uh, we're, uh, we're really close, man. Like, oh, come on, let's get there. It'd be so cool to get to 30, man. It'd be super cool to get to 30 tonight. Share, thumbs up, do all that stuff. Get the stream out there. Yeah, John, for sure. How many of those do we have? It's kind of like the broken post on those side covers is the determining factor of all of this. I got a whole bunch of covers. Look how organized I am. You guys would be so proud. But bro code, post gone, sucks. I don't know what you do with it. I mean, I, I suppose you could try repair it, but there's one, there's a CL, both tabs. Another one, blue one, both tabs. So I do have another set of CL side covers that I could use. So these will be fine. These will clean up just fine. I'm not worried about those. Big Worm, welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping in. Keep on wrenching live stream. So yeah, we got another bike to build. It'll be a CL because I got these side covers, but I just can't throw away this old candy gold one. It's just, it's had a tough life. And I just wanna, wanna give it a good home. So I do have enough parts, I think, for like one more full complete bike. And then I'm gonna have to start spending some money. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start spending some money again um, to, to kind of fill out everything else. All right. You got a 75 CL360, nice. Nice. So I've never, I've never seen a 360 in person. I've only seen them online. Um, there's a, they're, they're, they're a very much similar, right? But with some important differences, I'm assuming. So we're up to 24, 24 on our way to 30. We are on our way to 30. Can we get to 30 viewers tonight? That would like make my, make my day. That would make my month. It's like last week we had the goal of getting to 100 uh, people on the uh, Keep On Wrenching community group. We got that. So can we get it to 30? The only way it gets to 30, guys, is if you share, if you, if you share the stream. That's pretty much the only, only way that, that we get there. And really, the only way the channel and everything grows is through your support, through your thumbs up, through your comments, through all of that. So your support is what is really making all this stuff work so well. So fun. Epoxying tabs works really well on those plastic covers. Yeah, I suppose you could find like another one, um, like find another cover with a broken tab and then cut it out and then like plastic weld it in or something. I could see that, I guess. I mean, there's always a way to fix it, but it's nice, man, when it has both tabs. When it has both tabs, it's pretty awesome. I've got the burnt orange, that's 70s fab. Early 70s are my jam for sure. It was me that got you there. Had to reactivate Facebook to do it. Okay, Brian, <laughs> thank you. Um, but if we, we could have just been patient. Um, and, uh, you know, man, the thing, the thing grew um, pretty well. So now we're up to like 108 or something like that. So 26, we need four more, guys. Let's get this 30 out of the way so I can stop freaking harping on it. There, a few little taps with the rubber hammer, not too aggressive, we can pull this one off. This one's a little bit more murky. This one's a little more um, garosi inside. Let's see. This has the old floats. This, this float barely moves, guys. This thing barely moves. It is really only moving with the assistance of, of, of myself. Good, Brian. You're a good addition to the group. I'm, I'm glad that you, 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 you stomached a little bit of, uh, of Facebook and got back in. Facebook, uh, keep on wrenching community group, guys. Let me go back to the top here. Make sure you guys can see where to find it. Down, down, down. Thing is active. There's also a Discord channel. There's a link on here as well. I need to be better about that. No pending members. Sad faced. You want a free sticker? Go ahead and request a free sticker. Keeponwrenching.com. Fill out the form. And I'll send you a free sticker just for being a part of the group. I'll just send you one. How about that? And I won't sell your information either. 
I won't sell your information. See if I can knock this pin out of this one. This one feels quite a bit more grimy than the other one, for sure. This one's just sticky. Like, even the choke on this one is pretty sticky. Uh, Discord's just a, a, a messenger app, basically, um, where you can have, like, little pods of people. Um, you guys can all keep conversations going. Um, it's a really, really neat, neat little thing. A lot of, I, I guess, mostly gamers use it. Um, to communicate while they're playing online games. But um, it's actually a really, really good uh, communications software piece. Very cool color, Ed, right? Yeah, you don't see the green ones very often. The green ones you don't see very, or at least I don't see the green ones very often at all. Wish I had my straight pick. This would make this a lot easier, but that worked. That worked. Pull this pin out. Let's get this float out. Let's see if this float is uh, janked up as well. Oh, this brass pin. I don't want to bend the hell out of it. I got lots of brass pins, though, so it ain't the end of the world. Just start hitting this stuff because we're going to have to get at it anyway. Yeah, ultrasonic cleaner is like really the only way to go, honestly. That is the way to go for sure. Come on. Let me get this pin out of here. I need my straight, I need my straight poker dually. My straight poker thingy. Would be nice. Oh, I'm gonna get skunked. It's not where it's supposed to be. I did not put that tool away. I did not put that tool away. I have jinxed myself. I was doing so good. I have to suffer with that bent bugger, I guess. I have to suffer with this one. Brake shoe springs. Um, there is a video on the YouTube channel about that. Basically, Pull them apart, like get your hands around them. Pull, what's the? Damn it! You ask a question on this live stream, and by golly, we're gonna freaking do it. Cause I bet I got one up here with the brake pads in it. Um, I got a rear one. Yeah, I got a rear one. So it's gonna be the same damn thing, whether it's front or back. Let me get you a little bit of elevation here. Get a little elevation. Let's get you down like that. So you don't actually even need to pull the springs, Brad. Pretty much, you just got to pull it apart. So what I do is I'll grab it like this. You just got to stretch it a little bit. Ah, how can I? I think I actually just got to show you like how I do it against my body like this. All right, you can get this T-shirt on KeepOnWrenching.com, by the way. But I'll just pull it and fold it, like pull it apart and then fold it and the whole thing comes apart, just like that. Okay, see that? I got another one, I can show you again. I gotta do it anyway. And make sure that you're wearing gloves when you do it. All right, like this. All right, I just pull it, and then I'm gonna tilt one side of it, just like that. There you go, buddy. Look at that, these don't look that, that, that bad at all. But yeah, that's all there is to it, man. Pull it apart. Pull it apart, that's all you gotta do. I'm <laughs> getting safety glasses now. No, I didn't do that. I am a safety first kind of a person. Make sure you do wear gloves though when, you, when you're handling those old brakes. When you fight those brake springs, wear some glasses. I should have, I guess. I didn't think of that. I didn't think it'd be a problem. Crisis averted. I did not die. But I never pull the springs out one at a time. I just pull it apart.
<laughs> big worm. Now that's service. You ask a question, I'm going to stop what I'm doing, and we're going to answer that damn question. Because that's what we're doing. That's what we do here, man. We, we're wrenching. We're, we're all working on these bikes. This one. All right, so this float. I don't hear anything inside this one. Yeah, this, the other one for sure. Yeah, this one's got water or gas in it for sure. That's got a hole. This one sounds good though. So I think that one's okay. So that's good. That's a plus. Welcome to the live stream, everybody. Make sure to hit that like button. Help get the stream out there. We're four away from the record. Four away from the record. If you know a fellow wrencher that would get a kick out of working on these old motorcycles, please share the stream. Get them in here. Let's break 30 viewers. That's the goal. Um, we've never got there. Brad, did you literally just do that? Did you, did you just go grab that thing and be like, all right, I got it. Go and knock that out. How cool is that? I haven't used the Evaporust gel. I haven't used the Evaporust gel. Boy, this little brass, this little bugger, this is being a little bugger right now. Being a little bugger. I would imagine it would be very good. Um, one tip though, Brian T, that, uh, um, one thing um, is that I have read I haven't really tried it too much. I was going to maybe try it on the exhaust, but I was going to, that you can just like soak paper towels in liquid evaporust and then wrap it with the wet paper towel, okay? And then over the top of that, uh, wrap it with like plastic. So just seal in the evaporust onto some, um, some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, some paper towel. All right, that came out of there. That's okay. Ooh, this one, this one's totally seized up. This one doesn't move at all. All right, so that's junk. Uh, but yeah, just uh, soak it in evaporust and then wrap it around whatever you're working on and then seal it with like a plastic bag or something. You just gotta make it really wet. It's gotta be really, really soaked, kind of dripping, and then you gotta seal it off and then uh, I've heard that can work very, very good. Oh, nice, Brad's posting a photo on the Facebook group. Evaporust is amazing, John, if you've never used Evaporust. It is an incredible magic solution. I think everybody should have a gallon of Evaporust in their shop for sure. I am sold on it. Uh, earlier in the stream, if you go back and rewatch the stream, the earlier part, um, that uh, we we showed off some parts that we cleaned off in Evaporust, and they they look they look almost brand new. I mean, those those did. So here we're fighting these bad boys again, just like we were on that other set of carbs. I, I really I don't want to do. I'm not. I can't do that. We're gonna try Drew's trick. We're gonna try Drew's trick. And put a little masking tape around the end of our needle nose so we don't mar this stuff up. We're going to try it. It's a free exchange of ideas around here. That's what we're doing. Tula Tom's in. Good to see you, Tula, man. We are so close to the 30 viewers, man. We are so freaking close. It's been just teetering, 25, 26. I haven't seen 27 yet on the channel. Haven't seen that just yet. Oh, geez. I'm going to go through this whole deal where you just keep tearing masking tape, tearing masking tape, tearing masking tape to try and achieve this objective. It's a good idea. I will just wrap you wrap this on here. Yeah, incredible paint job. <laughs> I would have never tried the two-tone. I know you were a little apprehensive about the two-tone, too. Thanks for the recommendation on the DSS website. Great resource. I ordered a bunch of stuff. DSS website. What website is that? 
share your knowledge. Oh my God, this masking tape is gonna like throw me through the wall. I don't think Tula's ever told me about the DSS. This show has become my respite from the chaos and depressing news of the day, Star Carrier. <sighs> I'm kind of with you. The, li the live stream that I'm doing right now is kind of an escape from, as you put it, a respite from the chaos and depressing news of the day. Thanks for joining me on the live stream. Let's escape together and let's just keep working on stuff, pounding on stuff, making stuff do stuff. Oh, David Silver Spares, gotcha. Yeah, I should have known that. I should have known that. I've only ordered one thing from David Silver Spares. Only one thing. And yeah, it was fine. I thought it was just expensive. I thought the shipping was like a little ridiculous. I literally bought a rubber O-ring and it was like $10. That bad boy don't want to come out of there. All right, we're going to let this sit. I, I, I put a ton of torque on that. So I'm just going to let this all kind of sit. Let that sit. I'm going to flip this over. We'll take off this top cover and we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, I couldn't find those. Uh, the, they were cylinder base O-rings. That's what I had to buy from there. And uh, I dropped my screwdriver again. Um, but yeah, they were like, the, the part was 10 bucks and literally they're like, they fit in an envelope and it was $10 to ship them. And then I broke a set of them and I had to order them again. That was, that just killed me. So those cylinder base O-rings ended up costing me like $40. And yeah, I'm never taking the cylinder base O-rings out of an engine ever again, ever. I don't care. I'm, I'm not going through that again. That was such... That was so miserable. All right, this diaphragm looks a lot better, actually. This one's not nearly as crap. Oh, boy. Oh, wah, wah. Wah, wah, for sure. That sucks. So this one's bad, too. So again, you can just grab that tab right here, lift that diaphragm right out. Pull that up. And once you know... Oh, that slide is stuck. Mm. Slide is stuck on it. There we go. Look at that. That's why you tug and test these uh, diaphragms. That's got a, a nasty tear in it. That is a junk. Junk, junk, junk. But not the whole thing. The shaft is probably still fine. Um, but that's going to need a diaphragm. How much do we get for a diaphragm these days? Curious to look that up. Let's do CB350 carb diaphragm. So now you're in common motor, you're in another 30 bucks. So now we're up to 60 bucks on that one carburetor. You know, this stuff adds up fast adds up real fast. So that's 60 bucks in on that carburetor. We're at 27, guys. Thanks so much for the support tonight. I'm, I'm having a blast on this live stream. I mean, yeah, if you go the common motor route, that's 30 bucks. Uh, let's see if it comes up under shopping. Here's a whole kit, but again, that's eBay. I don't want to get into that eBay stuff. I could buy a brand new one for $700. Evaporus is awesome. Got a five gallon pail for 20 bucks. Who is this? Wait, I gotta go back. What? Wait, what? You what? Star Carrier? A five gallon pail for 20 bucks? Dude, those things are like 80, 90 bucks. The FedEx guy, I bet he wanted to kill me the day I ordered that. He had delivered that to my house. <laughs> wow. Yeah, common motor. Common motor can be a little expensive. They do typically have very good service though. Oh man, if you have those, Tyler, that would be amazing. Two new diaphragms, didn't end up using. Um, I'll definitely pay you for those. Let me know what you want for them. I'll grab those and uh, that'll be incredible. 
Oh, hey, somebody bought some mugs. Somebody bought, bought, somebody got some mugs. I got to refire that. See if that'll go. 70 Honda by two mugs off the thing, man. Thanks so much, 70 Honda. The 24 Sounder went out there. So that is amazing. Thanks so much for the support, man. I love the mugs. The mugs are, are, are freaking cool. Um, don't forget, I double clicked the button. The new tumblers are in. Tumbler with a lid, a steel tumbler. Keep on wrenching logo on it. Go to keeponwrenching.com support and you can check that out. But yeah, look at these prices, guys. This is crazy. Thanks so much for ordering the merch, man. That's awesome. So that's really expensive. Okay, here's uh, Common Motor. Again, $30. Who else sells these? I'm becoming a fan of four into one. Uh, CB350. I, I mean, I love them all. Uh, let's see. Uh, come on, Google. Help me out. That's a hard word to spell. Four into one. Yeah, they look at this. They own the paid search. Look at this. Common Motor. They, they're, they're running some really good pay, uh, pay-per-click right now. Boom. All over it. Four into one. There are pay-per-clicks all over it, too. But let's see how good it is. Does it take me to the part I need? No. No, it doesn't take me to the part I need. I hate it when campaigns freaking do that. It just drives me crazy. D uh, carburetor diaphragm. Okay, here's one for $14 here. So it's a reproduction. The other thing I like the other thing I like about four into one is that you can get genuine parts or you can get reproduction parts. This type of part, honestly, I think I would want to get the factory Honda part. Um, just my guess. Look at this, ultimate carburetor rebuild kit. 70 to 73, 75 bucks. So again, these aren't original parts. These are reproduction parts. And I've heard, I'm reading more and more and more and more about people having problem with these replacement jet sets. Like they're just not 100% right. And they're not working. But you can see, uh, I wish I could see exactly where that was. I don't want to waste all the time on that. We got any new member requests? No new member requests? Come on, if you're not in the group, got to join the group. Keep on wrenching community group. That'd be huge. And get your darn free sticker. I want to open up my phone after this live stream, and I want to have to, like, pack up, like, 20 stickers. That'd be super, super fun to do. And then thank you again for the support on the YouTube channel. Over 6,000 now. We're at 6,000. 6,000 subs. I never thought that was going to be a thing. So that's, that's absolutely huge. Tula Tom, I'm in Michigan. I've got parts in three days from them. Totally agree, man. 100% agree. The shipping on four into one is like lights out. You get it fast. I mean, I got my tires from them, no joke, in like three days. My tires in three days. I was, I was floored by that. I was like, no way. Again, guys, don't remember. Be careful with this. Don't break this. Can't buy it. So, yeah, Diaphragm City, going to be getting into there. I think I have one. I think I have one um, in my bin over there that I can actually use. So, that's it. Tyler, I'm lucky to live near 4 into ones warehouse. Got new tires in a box in 24 hours. Wow. 4 into one oops. 4 into one always impresses me with how fast they ship, especially when you consider it comes from San Francisco, for sure. Clement, I'm with you on that. COVID, the universal excuse. That's the excuse for everything. Tyler, go ahead, fire off that email. Awesome. Uh, COVID. Who told you? Who told you everything was delayed because of COVID? Who was that? Four more, guys. We're at 26. 26 is awesome. Okay, I gotta, get, I gotta keep working on stuff. That's, that's my problem tonight. Getting distracted. Tula, Hepcat Hardly, member of KOW on the Facebook group, has a great vid on replacing diaphragms. Oh, good. Well, I don't want to make one then if he's already got one, honestly. Um, I, he can have the views on that. That's fine. I thought that would be a really good video to make, though. I was talking about that earlier. I don't think I've seen a video about Oh, Common Motor. Yeah, they sent out an email um, 
too about things being delayed. I'm, I'm wait, actually waiting on that replacement muffler. Um, remember how that one muffler was all dented up that I got? Um, they're exchanging it for free or whatever. I guess I had to pay shipping to get it back to them. I'm a little mad about that, but maybe they'll maybe they'll reimburse that later on. Rear shocks two or three days. It just it's hit and miss, man. I mean, I think it just depends where you are, uh, what's going on, and and how that all goes. So, I mean. It is what it is. 27. That's our peak tonight. Thank you so much for the support of the live stream, guys. Uh, you know what? We got a lot of people here right now that I do kind of want to show um, this this uh, freaking little camera off a little bit more. Oh, we. Oh, I got. Oh man, I got alerts. I got alerts for stickers like nobody's business right now. Um, that's pretty darn cool. All right, all right. I, I, I do want to just go back to this because I, honestly, I just like playing with it. And it's my little rope camera. My little rope camera. Let's turn this on. I'm going to go look at something else. Tell them to kick rocks. Yeah, I think it'll get reimbursed, though, Brian. I think it'll get... I think it'll get reimbursed. I'm not... I'm honestly so far away from, like, even caring at this point on that. That's... Uh, I don't... I don't really... I don't mind. I mean, I mind, but um, it's like not something that I'm like, you know, killing myself over. All right. So this thing is the coolest darn thing that I bought for $30 ever. And I just want to show it to people who just joined the stream because I just think it's so damn cool. And basically, it's just a, it's a snake camera. So if you need to investigate a gas tank you can go for a little deep dive into your gas tank it's got a little light built right into it and you can go and inspect your tanks look at this oh got a little bright get inside your tank let me go down here There it goes. Keep on wrenching. Somebody else is hitting that site. How cool is that? 29 viewers, guys. One more. Keep it going. We'll get ourselves to 30. We'll get this camera down in here to take a look at the inside of the tank. Let's go down and take a look at our piston. I just love this camera. Bike Bandit. Yeah, they're another one. They're really, really good. 30 bucks, guys. 30 bucks for one of these little rope cameras. I absolutely love it. I encourage you to get it. Um, it's the Nidage, Nidage little camera, man. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Can't wait to, to just, I don't know, just muck around with it. Use the hell out of it. It's going to be cool. I won't mess with companies like that, like Bike Bandit. What's wrong with Bike Bandit? Tula, totally. It's a colonoscopy camera. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what I'm going to call it for 30. We got it. We got it. Thank you so much for whoever joined the stream, man. We got to 30 freaking um, live viewers. Fantastic. The Keep On Wrenching live stream is a blowing up. I love that. 29 was the peak and we finally made it. How awesome is that? Very cool. Very cool. Let's go over to camera B and let's go back to the tank here for a little while. I do want to try and figure out how the hell this pet cock comes off of here. There has to be a way to get this pet cock off of here, and I don't know what it is. 31? Oh, man, we're breaking all the records tonight, guys. Thanks so much for the support. If you are on the stream tonight, you got to go and get your free sticker, okay? It's free sticker day, okay? Just go to keeponwrenching.com, scroll to the bottom of the homepage, and go and request the free sticker. I will put a sticker in an envelope and mail it to you for free. I will not sell your data. I won't do any of that stuff, okay? Um, but go get your free sticker. Keep on wrenching.com for that. We're up at 32. Oh, damn. This is, uh, this is awesome, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 33. We're growing. We're going. You gotta love this stuff, man. You gotta love this stuff. Thanks so much for the support. The channel's been growing like crazy. And man, I tell you what. Good people, 
we got good freaking people in this group and it's so 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 much fun oh i just dropped my tools in vinegar which is just great the hell size is this it's a little bit too small two god it, it, that's a 10 is that going to be a 10 millimeter that's going to be a 10 millimeter wrench isn't it I bet it's going to be a 10 millimeter. Guess what one wrench I cannot find right now, guys. I cannot find there. Unscrew the bottom. Then there's a screw inside holding it to the tank. Thank you, Jeffrey. That, that, that had to be the answer um, because that is the only thing mounting this. So I, I will be very careful here. I got my 10 millimeter six-sided wrench here. Um, that will make sure that I don't strip this out or at least give me the best chance possible. And that turned right out. Those float post easy to break. All right, so that's a little dirty. So this is all full of uh, vinegar. Okay, and then there's a screen in there. Okay, I see the screen. Uh, don't want to wreck the screen. So I've never looked at one of these guys. Let me give you a little bit better look. Kind of new to me, the CL125 stuff. I don't know. Thanks again so much for the support on the channel tonight. All right, how's this come out of there? I should be looking at the book. I should be looking at the book. This is usually one piece. I'm being extremely gentle. Chances, oh, there we go, O-ring out. This is, uh, actually surprisingly, this O-ring isn't too bad. It's not too bad right now, hey man. What clear coat would you recommend for a gas tank after painting? Uh, 2K clear. Do I have a can of that down here? Yep. Yeah, let me grab it. Let me grab it. I'll show it to you. I think this stuff is incredible. Um, it's a two-stage. Hey, that's it, dude. Kaboom. This is what you want right here. Spray Max 2K. Oh, this is the paint. Uh, I need the clear coat. I think I have another can of the clear coat. Oh, does Brian have clear coat? I got three cans. I got three cans of clear coat. There we go. 2K. I got the clear gl glamour. Spray Max. Shane, I'm going back to that real quick, and we'll, we'll, I'll, let's look at that. Unscrew the bottle, okay, blah, blah, blah. Carefully screw inside, it's super easy to strip. It's like the CL100, take the bowl off. There's a bolt under the vent in that bowl. Okay, so there you go, Alex. That's what you get, and it looks like Brian T in the group agrees as well. I have uh, 3680061, that is, that's it. It's the best clear, 100%, spend the money. It's not cheap, it is not cheap. <laughs> And uh, let's see, uh, if you're using an enamel paint, I think you're going to be fine. If you use a lacquer paint, I don't think you would be fine. How does that go? Oh, I can never remember the order of how all that goes, but do a test first. <laughs> I think that's always the safest thing to do is to do a test first um, to do that. Okay, so now I got to read. I got I to gotta, I gotta read. Ow. Okay, I gotta read again. Let's go back over here. Let's get this pet cock off of here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, read these instructions. Take the bowl off, and there's a bolt under the vent in that bowl. So I got the bowl off. Okay, here comes the screen, okay. Got the screen out, and there should be a bolt. I see it. I see it. Looks like a JIS screw. Looks like a JIS screw in there. Let me get a paper towel. Stick that in there. Dry this up a little bit so I can see what's going on. That's a unique way. 
be nice if I could save the gasket. Oh wait, that's a, oh yeah, no, that's a JIS. That's a JIS for sure. And that's gonna pull off. It'd be nice to save the gasket because I could make another gasket because I have all the stuff to do that. So how lucky, how lucky do we feel tonight? Think we're gonna get this out of here? Don't strip the bolt or lose it. They are super hard to find. Noted, Jeffrey. It's turning. Oh, I got you off camera. Sorry about that, you're missing all the action. Keeping nice firm pressure down, don't wanna strip it. Oh, and it's built into the tank. Got it. Hey, and I got the gasket here. Oh, no, it's a little rubber gasket. Looks like a little rubber seal. Somebody put some gunk on that. There it is. That's the magic bolt, huh? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this all into a bag right now, right now, to make sure that I do not displace that. Um, ideally, what I would like to do is rebuild this, this, uh, this pet cock. I think I'll be able to, I, th I think I'll be able to, uh, to salvage it. I think. I just need to find a Ziploc bag, preferably one that's not totally covered in grease, but this one will do the job just fine. Big believer. Ooh, look at that. Ah! dropping stuff all over the place. So how big of a deal is that? That probably doesn't matter too much. I would think I'd be able to just trill that out. Man, 34 viewers on the Keep On Wrenching live stream. This is awesome tonight, guys. You're blowing up the chat too. I'm actually having a difficult time um, getting that. Uh, Keep On Wrenching group, that's where you wanna go. Let me pull this up right here, right here real quick and we'll take a look at this pet cock here in a second go to the keep all wrenching community group right here go find it on facebook guys if you haven't already we're up to 35 viewers tonight this is like exceeding my expectations like nobody's business if you'd like to get to know the folks of the group we got a good crew um, go and do that. And also, if you're on the stream, do not forget, I want to mail out a ton of stickers. Go to keeponwrenching.com. Request a free sticker. There's a giant form at the bottom. So just go do it. I'll send you a free sticker. Uh, thank you to Drew from the group who made those up for everybody. So there's the magic screw. But this is what I'm wondering about. How big of a deal is this? Oh, it's split pretty much all the way up. Oh, there's some uh, rubber... Or, uh, Looks like some JB Weld or a silicone of some kind in here. Dude, you don't have to fill out the questions. Just just submit it. I didn't make them mandatory. You're okay. Oh. That's not good. And it definitely looks like somebody uh, already jerry-rigged this. That looks like, like a JB Weld kind of a sealant product there for sure. Hmm. All right, well, we're gonna be doing some investigating on that. Oh, do, 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 do. That sucks. I wonder if you can just buy the shaft. I wonder if you can just do that. That's a bummer. Man, we're just running into hurdle after hurdle after hurdle on these uh, on these projects here lately. Nothing's going like super smooth. But I got that in a bag. I will not lose that screw. Thank you for the heads up on that. I think it was uh, Jeffrey. I think it was Jeffrey that said, dude, don't lose that screw. Yep, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Brown. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Still hanging strong at 30 viewers. All right, I'm going to put this in a safe spot. I'll get these out of here. And get this out of there and we'll keep working <clears throat> maybe we'll take a look at the apocalypse bike i wanted to get this uh really wanted to get this pet cock off but it looks like there's a lot of uh there's been some issues been some issues here 
Yeah. Definitely some kind of a, a sealer was used there. Yeah, duplicolor paint's good, absolutely. I, did, I gotta remember, what was it? It's like, don't spray lacquer over enamel. Oh, nice, Ron bought a, bought a sweatshirt, dude. Ron, thank you so much firing off that 24 sounder. Got yourself a sweatshirt. Thanks so much for the support, man. Oh, man, that, that is just freaking cool. Ron, you're building a great community. Love the live streams. Keep on wrenching. Love that message, man. I agree. I think we've got a really cool thing going on here. I think, I think we're having fun. I'm having fun. So, and man, judging by the, by the viewers tonight, this is absolutely incredible. Having a blast. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, and I hope you love that sweatshirt. Um, I ordered a bunch of samples of stuff. It's good quality good quality stuff. So, um, man, thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So dupe color is good. That's what I used. Awesome. Thanks. No worries. Primer used. Blah, blah. Okay. The thing that I just remember being totally heartbroken by, uh, one time, this is my first bike, my 1970 gold. You've probably seen it on the Instagram or, or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so I painted it. And then I painted it with an enamel. And uh, hey, Dan. Dan, thanks for joining the live stream, man. That's incredible. Thanks so much. Great to see you. Um, I was painting the tank. I painted it with enamel, OK? And then um, I, I had lacquer clear coat. And I was like, oh, cool. I got some clear coat right here. I'll just, I'll just spray this on it. And I sprayed that lacquer clear coat on it. And like right before my eyes, the whole thing just like cracked and bubbled and like basically melted in on itself. It was absolutely devastating. I had to strip the whole damn thing. Yeah, Zach, lacquer will make enamel peel off lacquer over lacquer only. Yep, I learned that lesson the hard way. I had spent all the money for the custom candy gold Honda paint. I'd painted the whole thing. It was rattle can, but it was still a color match. And then, um, I sprayed that lacquer clear on it and never again. That was such a, <laughs> it was such a huge lesson that I learned that night. Uh, it's totally, totally, totally sucked. So yeah, Zach, thanks for coming in with the tip on that. Tim, CMC is replacement pet cocks. Can't remember how much. I did get one and it was good quality. So, okay, yeah, CMC. So CMC, CMC doesn't do 125, so this is a 125. I'll have to look at some part numbers and see if, if they're the same from, because I think they're doing 175s now, but I don't think they're doing the, the 125s yet. Uh, Brad, okay, I've been cleaning the front drum housing tonight, mostly with WD-40, 4.0 steel wool, good job. Any reason I shouldn't do a final spray with brake clean? Does it still look trashy? I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I've never used brake clean test a small spot someplace and just see what, what that is actually going to look like. Brian T, I took mine down to metal, used Dupacolor primer and Dupacolor sealer. Perfect. Should be good, man. You should be good. You should be good. This tank overall, I think we're going to be okay with it. It held vinegar for, um, you know, a good, you know, several runs, three, four days, and it didn't leak. So... I feel good about it. We did the investigation with the rope camera or the, the snake camera tonight. And uh, it looks like it's just old gas that's trapped in the bottom of the tank. So really my next step, now that I've got it to this point, is I'll probably just sandblast this tank. But before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to trace and make a stencil of this decal on both sides because this decal is intact on here. It's going to have to come off because I'm going to need to repaint the whole tank. So I think a good tip for anybody, if you're trying to restore your tank back to original, which I'll, I'm going to go red on this tank, um, I'm definitely going to trace a, 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 a template basically of this template because man, if you go online and you, and you want to find replacement decals, I mean, it's a hundred bucks for a set for a tank like this. It's a hundred bucks for a set of decals. And they're, they're usually water transfer decal that you can get for them. But a hundred bucks for this 
is that's 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 pretty um, pretty crazy. So I'm gonna make sure that I trace these out before I do that. Now I, I need to figure out the best way to possibly do that. But the the I kind of Drew. I have to thank Drew from the group for the idea because he sent me a bunch of kind of white um, car wrap material for my 70 CB because I wanted to put the white stripe in the tank. And I was just kind of got to thinking, I was like, hmm, how smart would have it have been to have traced that stripe before I went and, you know, destroyed it and sandblasted it all off or, or used the paint, cl paint cleaner. Painted on versus a decal. I suck at painting, dude. Let's be honest. I mean, I, I really, I, I, I really suck at painting. Um, I could use some lessons in that, but like how easy would it just a decal? Like, are these a decal or are these painted? I think that this would be interesting to look at actually. Let's pop back over there and take a look. I thought these later tanks had a decal. I don't know, but either way, Either way, it would be nice, you know, to have a, you know, a record of what this actually looked like. That's yeah, probably paint. I don't know how the hell I would paint that with such a clean line. Maybe we got to ask Brian T how the hell he painted such a beautiful line. Because it seems like every time I try to paint a line and it, it just comes out like crap. I mean, I have tried so many times. I've tried it with the tape over the tape and the tape under the tape and all those different methods. And I never can paint. I, I think I've just kind of come to the conclusion that I kind of suck at painting. I'm, I'm not that good. I think I'm good at painting or I'm fair at painting like single colors <laughs> and and going from there i don't know dude i mean it's tough to tell it's i mean it's 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 t i mean it's so old and dry and gritty um, i think i would just do a decal on it just because that's something i can do and honestly <laughs> the other reason why i would rather just do a decal is because if you screw it up you can peel the you can peel the decal off um, if I screw it up and I'm trying to paint it, like it's over. Like then, then you got to start over. Yeah, getting the line to match on both sides. Yep. Yeah, stencil. That that's that's all I want to. Yeah. Well, oh, for painting it, I don't know, man. I still think like, what am I going to get my sponges out and I like, start doing sponge painting on the side of the on the side of the tank? I don't know. Drew, trace the decal and send it to me. I can plot out a gloss vinyl for you. <sighs> Drew, you, you, you got the skills to pay the bills, man. Um, you know, having access to that equipment and being able to do that, I think that's huge. I think it'll look great. I, I, I think it'll look great with a, with a nice uh, vinyl sticker on it. But again, I just suck at painting. I just need to come to terms with that. Uh, kind of know my limitations, but also don't limit myself. Um, keep trying to get better, but... I, like Brian T, I would have never tried. I would have never tried <laughs> that two-tone tank. I mean, it came out incredible. For those of you who haven't seen this tank, let's take a look at it. It's worthy of praise. Um, he did an amazing job on it. Alex, coming in on the group. Let's get him in on the action here. A gr yeah, bam, we're in. Awesome. Okay, welcome to the group, Alex. Thanks for joining up. Let's refresh. I think that takes us to 109. Tula Tom, there's nothing you can't do, Brian. Well, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure. And painting is one of them. Hey, Brad, give me a break. I break for donuts, Vika. <laughs> Reference to the other live stream. This is looking really clean, dude. Oh, oh, the outs, the inside of the break. Yeah, hit that with break clean. Why not? Knock yourself out. Why are those pads still in there, though? Oh, there the pads are out. Okay, good, good. Okay, we got that out of there. But yeah, yeah, totally. I thought you were cleaning the outside of it donuts love it um what do you buy bolts for your bikes see people are already this is why i love this community because people are already popping in here answering these questions i'm in love with this blue it's like a real ford blue isn't it i want to find that one picture of you oh my god there's so much happening in here uh metal metal rescue soak station you guys are incredible okay what what the hell is this one hour. Drew, you're lighting up the group. If you're not a member of the Keep On Wrenching group yet, please go and do that. Maximum, welcome to the live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Where is it? 
right here. There it is. Brian T. painted this with a rattle can, guys. This was a rattle can job, and then uh, what you painted that pinstripe in it as well. I mean, this is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous work um, on this. I mean, you'd be surprised what you can do with a rattle can. And then down here, uh, he also did those fenders. So he painted his chrome fenders, and he did that pinstripe on, on, the, on the backside of this thing too. Guys, if you're enjoying the live stream, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, that really helps get the stream out there. And then also, um, you know, just share it with your friends, man. If you got some wrenching buddies, we'd love to get them here. But uh, I mean, big hat tip, man, to uh, to, to Brian on, on doing that. That is a really beautiful tank uh, that, that that he created there. It's uh, it's fantastic. So yeah, I, I you know I saw your comment on that, uh, Brian, and. Um, uh, I, I, I think personally, I would wait like a long time before I started like polishing and buffing that out. I don't know. Maybe we got some people who paint for a living who could, who could, who could answer. Um, Dan, please give me a lesson. I, I need a lesson in painting really, really well. Um, yeah, give me a lesson. Uh, you set up some ventilation. I can do that. I, I, I'm, I'm looking into that, Dan. Thank you so much. Uh, a fine line. I, I'm just going to have that ugly bubbly line. That's what I'm going to hate. And then I'm just going to be like, you know what? I shouldn't have pressed my luck. I should have just painted it a solid color and been happy with it. That's what I, that's what I would do. But Dan, yeah, absolutely. Um, next time you come through Michigan, please, I need a paint lesson because I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do. Brian's going to give me advice when I paint my bike. Awesome community. <laughs> Maximum. I, again, lean on the other members of the group. We've got some really smart people in here, other people that are doing it. Wait in 30 days. Good call, Brian. Good call. Wait 30 days on all of that. God, what else? God, I'm missing chat. You guys are blowing up the chat. I can barely even keep up with it. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you. Ba, ba, ba. Tank looks amazing. Uh, I, I'm more impressed with the fenders. Um, painting over that chrome like that, that came out so nice. Um, I still need a fine sand clear, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I'm caught up. I think, I think I'm finally caught up on it. Uh, let's check real quick. Let's see if we got some new members here. We got people kind of rolling in and out of here, um, which is amazing. No new members. God, it's such a sad little face. But again, if you want a free sticker, again, just for being a part of the live stream, watching, being a part of the community, head to keeponwrenching.com, and there's a form at the bottom. Fill it out, okay? Request a free sticker. I will get a sticker to you in the mail and uh, you will have that, okay? No, Brian T, I did not notice what you did to that rear fender. What, what did you do to it? Um, you painted it. Go get the free sticker, everybody. I got a whole stack thanks to Drew. And now Drew's gonna make me these decals for this, for this tank over here. And uh, it's gonna be just a fabulous, fabulous experience uh, for everybody. Don't forget, join. Uh, go hop over on Instagram. And if you're on TikTok, follow on, on uh, Instagram and TikTok too. Fun, fun stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, real quick, guys, too. Uh, if you're new to the group and you're working on a 350, on the website, there is a page for resources. And then you want to go to manuals. We don't need no stinking manuals. Click on that and then download a copy of my favorite manual for free, Chilton Honda 350 360 Twins Repair and Tune-Up Guide. Go ahead and download that thing. It's going to help you a lot. Just, you know, grab a copy of that and, uh, yeah. I think that, that would be fabulous, and uh, it's going to help you out a lot. It's the best manual out there for these bikes. It's not even really close at all. Uh, more content coming into the group, but we'll get back to all that stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that stuff later. Okay, i got to spend a little bit of time here on chat. Um, Brian, did you notice what I did to the rear fender? Hell yeah, Brian T., you have to study it because I'm waiting for someone to notice what is different about it. Riddles, man. Riddles. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It, it looks very, very nice. Let's look at it one more time. We'll look at the fenders one more time. And then we'll go, like, look at this. Some dude's just hauling freaking motorcycles and trailers all over the place. Freaking incredible. God, that tank looks really cool. Really cool. Nicely done. Okay. So now we all got to look at this. I'm gonna mute this violin music though, okay? I, I, I respect it, I like it, but I, I need to focus here. I need to focus. What did you do to it? Oh, don't focus on the color. Anybody?
anybody see this? Anybody? Any, 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 anybody uh, see what the hell he's talking about here? I mean, it's got a sparkly sparkle in there for sure. I almost thought that you polished the edges um, to get that, that pinstripe, but apparently you painted that on. I thought you just maybe like buffed out the, the, the edge of that fender to get that. What am I looking at? Is there something like embossed in there? Dan, he's coming in, he's saying there's a highlight. What am I looking at here? Body of the rear section. Okay, so the, the weird cutout. It doesn't rattle can Picasso, right, Maximum? That's incredible. One more time, because that's the front fender. So we're looking at the rear fender. Here's the rear fender. Okay, there's the light mount. The tabs, the wire stay. I don't know, dude. I have no idea. It's balancing on a, on a paint can. You got to tell us, dude. You got to tell us. Light. Think light. It's not a highlight. Mounting. Oh, a mounting. Are you putting a different rear light on it? Because there are only two holes there. You're not going to tell? Dude, you got to tell. Like, come on. We're, we're all, we, got, we got 26, 27 people there uh, that we, we need to know. We need to know what's going on. So there are only two holes on the one's end of the, of the uh, fender right here. And there should be four because that, there should be four there because that bracket has four holes in it. All right, that's what it is. Okay, so that's the difference then. So let's go to, 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 to camera B and let's go take a look at what it should look like if this guy wanted to like keep things stock. So go for a little walk with me here through the studio. Here's what your rear brake light is gonna look like. There's gonna be four bolts. There's two bolts here and there's two bolts down here. So he went and got rid Oops, sorry about that. You got rid of the top two, so you must have just bondoed those in, right? And then you've done that. Oh my God, guys, we, you know what we haven't done tonight? What we haven't done tonight is just take a look at the freaking apocalypse bike. I'm going mobile. Here's where we're at right now. <laughs> I see that now, Brian T. You filled those top holes, but here's the progress on the apocalypse bike. All black, love the black switches, black bars, black gauges, black mirrors. And we blacked out the fenders on that thing too. Still working on the wiring. I'm trying to figure out like a, a, a cool little template thing to do a really good wiring video on this. But then there she sits. My paint job and my pinstriping job, which I didn't think turned out too bad. Down here we've got the black shocks, everything's polished out really, really nice. And then take a look, a little detail here. Got a little keep on wrenching logo right there in the back. Freaking love that. And uh, cleaning up the wiring and uh, all of that. So we got, uh, everything is laying in place. My biggest struggle right now is it's all coming down to polishing. It's all coming down to polishing. I've got the rims to polish, the exhaust to polish, the hubs to polish, the side covers to polish. And I still got the engine to polish. <laughs> so I still got to deal with that. Made some really nice headway on it this weekend though. 
Um, but as you come down to some other parts, it ain't quite as clean, not quite as clean yet. And then I did, uh, for those of you who missed it, the 125S, the 74125 is uh, in the shop now too. So this one's just hanging out. And I wanna get, get busy on this one. This one's gonna actually, I think, clean up pretty good. The chrome looks good. It's just kind of a matter of, of starting to take stuff apart just a little bit. So it's getting pretty tight in here. Uh, Chris, where can I get correct candy gold and ivory in spray cans? Um, so if you want to do it with uh, spray cans, Marble Motors, Marble Motors on eBay does custom Honda spray can aerosols. And I, did, I got my candy gold from him. Look at how cool that is. 3,600 miles. 3,600 miles on this sweet thing. Zach, I'm out, everybody. Have a good night. Brian, I sent you an email on that frame. Hit me up so we can talk about it. I will do that, man. Thank you so much for offering to help and weld that thing up because you're going to save that 1968 CB350 if we can fix that up. So thank you, Zach. Uh, we will make that happen for sure. Yes, Brian, you too are a good body man. <laughs> Thanks, man. I thought it came out okay. I think this, this is a sexy looking bike. Like, no joke. I love the look of the Apocalypse bike. It's, uh, it's going to be subtle and it's going to have that high pipe CL exhaust. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm just thrilled about all of that. And then you look up top here, we've got just a few bikes hanging out on the shelf and, uh, you know, just a few extra parts too. You know, as we get down through here, we've got just a few extra parts. That entire 1968 CB350 is in the, in, the, uh, in the blue bin there. The whole bike is just in that tote right now. We got so many parts. We got so many bikes. I got an extra engine. I got two more engines out in the damn garage. It's time to stop. All my wiring and everything is in here. I've really gotten organized. You need foot pegs? I got foot pegs. I got plenty of foot pegs and uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Going on there, got my little polish station all squared away. Everything's looking really, really good. I'm having fun tonight. Um, it started out, um, I was really tired coming into the stream tonight. I was like, oh boy, what am I gonna do? God, do I have energy for this, man. But man, you guys just kind of light the party up when we start doing this, so um, awesome. So good to have everybody here. Apocalypse bike is ready for the nightlife, sexy mama. Yeah, it's going to be a really pretty bike. I just got to get it done. <laughs> but now I got the 125, I got the 68, I got all these little projects that I'm trying to deal with. So, um, wiring harness, yeah, I, I mean, too many projects, too many irons in the fire right now. Uh, let's see, catch up here. Okay, Zach's out, boom, 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 boom. We're still hanging at 24, we're at two hours, 20 minutes of live streaming tonight. Um, this is incredible. So, projects. What other projects do, do, we, do we really have? Um, I don't have a whole lot actually on the, uh, on the plan tonight, but I'm looking around. I'm looking around the shop right now. I kind of want to polish something, but I kind of don't want to polish something on the 350. I kind of want to pull something off of the 125 and uh, do something with that because it's like in its, in its new little home. Let's pop back over here. You know? I bet this motorcycle has never been, you know, in a, in a basement before, in a heated basement. And, uh, you know, it's like living the life right now. And my target tonight, let's see. My target tonight is gonna be this little 125 side cover. I think that's what I wanna attack. That's what I wanna get at. And uh, if I can get that off of there and polish that tonight on the buffer, I think that could be pretty fun, pretty cool, and be something that we could look at and say, um, we've got some possibilities here. We've got some opportunities ahead of us. So I'm gonna go ahead, remember, J-I-S. You want to use J-I-S bits in everything you do, the Japanese industrial standard. Do not try to take things out with a Phillips screwdriver. You will wreck it. You will wreck it, and you will be sad, you will be mad and you will be angry, all right? So just make sure you find the right bit. Should be a two. Yeah, that's it right there. 
And we'll go ahead. We'll pull the, we'll pull the, uh, these should come out. We'll see. Let's find out. Yeah, I love it when they break free. Yes. Oh, such a great feeling when you feel those, those old bolts come out. There we go. There's that single point. Oh my God, we got to take a look at that. We got to hop down here and take a look at that. There's that little single point on this 125. Yeah, so apparently they did make a two cylinder 125 for a while. So uh, this one's just a single cylinder, but really, really cute, man. And I just kind of want to see how good can we get it? But man, look at that. It's just, everything about this bike is just kind of adorable, quite honestly. So it's just a fun size. Um, it, it'd be really easy to ride, I think. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really cool. So let's get back over to the table and take a look. I always like to just take like one part and polish it up, clean it up. And it's kind of like a, a, a starting point. So here's that 125 cover. We can polish this thing up to a shine again. I'm going to listen to one of the tips that I did get um, last week from a guy saying that before we go and just polish it on a wheel, um, that we should actually uh, use some sandpaper first. And he's totally right. We could scuff it up a little bit, get some of this oxidation off the top of it. Then we can probably clean it up um, pretty quick. But I thought he made a good point on the stream last week. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I probably should have taken the time to do that. Um, I do have to admit sometimes on the live streams, um, I do kind of cut some corners here and there. Kevy Kev, Kevy Kev's in the room. Welcome back, man. No offense to my boy Brian, because I love you, bro, but never use power tools for first time fastener removal. Yeah, you guys got me converted. You got me converted on this. And, and also, Kevy Kev, everything's been coming off of this bike really easily. So I felt pretty good about it. I had a good bite on it, so. But noted. I didn't want to grab my hammer. You guys got me converted to power tools. You've corrupted me. You've corrupted me in one of the worst possible ways. <laughs> Tula, whatever you did worked. Yeah, it, it bit, the screws were, were nice. I felt okay about it. I'm just gonna use just a little bit of 400 and just scrape on this, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go straight to the wheel. All right, guys, man, you guys are blowing up the chat tonight. This is absolutely incredible. I, I, you know what, weird? I, I do really kind of miss just a little bit, like not a ton, but I do kind of miss like sanding my aluminum because there is something like very relaxing about doing it. But look at that already, just popping through real quick on some of this. It's all good. Okay, so I gotta catch up on chat. I gotta, I gotta read and sand at the same time. GIS, okay, yeah, maximum. Impact GIS screwdriver is kind of expensive, expensive but worth it. I got the impact bits for, for, for this uh, impact driver that I have for like 10 bucks. It came with like a whole kit, you know. It wasn't, wasn't bad at all. Kevy Kev, it's all it's it's always awesome till it's not v valid point, valid point. But you know, it's like, man, when do you stop? You know. I feel pretty good about this this bike as far as everything being pretty clean, everything looking pretty good. So I took a chance, guys. I took a chance to to just get it over with. <laughs> Back up to 29 viewers, man. This the this the live stream is going incredibly well tonight. Thanks to everybody. I'm just knocking off a bunch of oxidation. 
off of this uh, 125 points cover. It's going to be kind of our going to be kind of our first little piece, you know, to really start that process of rebuilding that uh, 1974 CL125S. I'm pretty proud of myself. I've been streaming for two hours and 27 minutes. And I am still on my first beer, everybody. That means we've been keeping busy. You ain't got no time to drink beer when you're keeping busy. I feel like we need some carnage in the live stream. Start your own live stream, Brian. <laughs> it looks like it's not painted to me. Um, it's really dirty. Like on the corners, it's coming out. When I put it back together, it will not be painted. 100%. I'm going to polish this aluminum is what I'm going to do. I'm not really seeing paint on it, though. Looks like just, just oxidation, to be quite honest. It just looks dirty. Unless I'm cutting through paint right now, but I, I don't think I am. This all looks like aluminum. It doesn't look like paint. Break off an engine bolt or something, will ya? Ugh. I'm kind of staying away from the engine. <laughs> Honestly, that is uh, a, a, such a huge task um, ahead of me cleaning that. And again, I think I just, I need some football on. Um, ooh, look, gasket. Oh, can I save this? Anytime you can save a gasket, I'd love to save them because um, you can make, make, make your own new ones. You don't, don't have to pay for them. Love to get that off of there. Let's see. A little bit of heat would be nice. Oh, it just cracked. It just cracked and broke. Oh, well. Whatever. I'm just going to keep sanding this. Now, usually I would just sit here and keep sanding it for three hours until it was perfect. But I do have power tools in the mix now. And yeah, this is just dirt. Look at this. It's just like, just pile of powers right through this. Not a lot of effort at all to knock this out. So I don't think it's paint, man. I don't think it's paint. Let's burn some wires. Um, that's quite possible, man. You see that, that uh, nest of wires I have back there in that headlight bucket. Um, that could easily uh, become a problem very, 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 very quickly. Don't want to don't want to do that. Don't want to do that big worm. Don't want to do that, man. I want to make progress. I don't want to go backwards. Don't want to go backwards. Man, we're up at 29 again, guys. Are we going to break 30 again for the night? Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Invite your friends, join the community. I've got a magnesium factory painted signal. Oh, I thought <laughs> I actually read that completely wrong. I was like, I've got a magnesium factory. I was like, damn, dude, maximum, what the hell? Okay, I've got a magnesium factory painted signal generator cover to sand down and paint. Any advice? Magnesium painted factory cover. So, well, do you want to paint it again? Oh, you want to paint it again. Well... I mean, I would, I would strip it all the way down for sure. If it's painted, you could, you could, I, I, like some of the painted side covers that I run into, I just spray them down with some paint, the aircraft stripper, uh, strip the paint off of it, and then um, prep the surface. And if I need to paint, I don't paint it though. I always just polish stuff out into a, into a, into a beautiful little shine. But yeah, I think I'm ready to take this over to the wheel. I mean, this already. Um, I mean, got most of that oxidation knocked off of that pretty quick. I think it's time to go over to the wheel. So let me, let's see, which camera am I going to roll over here? Let's do this. Too many options. Lots of cameras to trip over. Um, lots of mayhem to create. So we'll start with this bad boy right here. So let me get this all kind of set up. And we can go and do a little bit of polishing real quick. See, see if we got a good angle for you here. And I'll move you up just a little bit. Doot, doot. Let's do that. And again, uh, when we're starting here, you know, what I like to do is go to the coarse brush first. 
and I use my dark compound. So I'll use my dark compound to deal with stuff. And then I've got my old trusty fork to clean it. So I'll quick just go and clean my, my, uh, clean my deal there like that. I'll grab my dark compound, get that dark compound going on there. Keep your compound handy because you're going to want to be dropping a lot of it on, okay? And let's just kind of start hitting this part, all right? We should have good light on stream. Let me know if everything's going off. I do not interact with chat while I'm using these tools. So talk amongst yourselves and uh, go from there. We're at the whole oh, bucks are back up to 31. Thanks for supporting the stream. I'm going to use these tools, guys. Focus. And again, I do have a, a visor on as well. So I'm going to do that. Also, polishing aluminum. Should wear a mask. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. This is just the first step. First step on the course wheel. Uh, how about I do half of it? And then we'll go back to the table, make sure you get a good look at it. And then we can keep going on the rest of it. So I'll try and just do like half of it here. Definitely not painted. Add just a little bit more compound. Man, I just love bringing these old parts kind of back to life. Look at that. Look at that. If a part had feelings, it would be feeling really good. I hit it one more time and then we'll just take a look. And again, this is just the first half, or the first stage, I should say. Like, this is literally the, the coarsest wheel that, I'll, that I have. To start knocking this out. All right, let's take a look at it. I put my visor. My in case I forget, guys, my visor is hanging on my engine. Okay. My visor is hanging on my engine. All right, now take a look at this. Top half done, bottom half garbage. Oh, who's leaving us? Big Worm, gotta bounce. Thanks for stopping by, man. Um, oh, thanks for checking out the store, supporting the stream. Always really, really cool. You guys are just dropping. It, it, the, 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 the chat is incredible tonight. Thank you so much for the support. Good night, big worm. Have a good one. But here we go. Did the top half. There's that bottom half. Just a little bit of a difference for like five minutes worth of work. And again, this is the coarse wheel that I'm using right now to just kind of knock out, you know, kind of the major imperfections. So, I mean, that's a pretty nice night and day difference. I really hope that that is coming across on stream about how dramatic of a difference that really, really is. <laughs> we got to keep going, guys. I mean, we got no choice now. We got we got to keep going on this. There's no way, no way we can stop. It'd be wrong to stop. We got to finish this cover tonight. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the course wheel. Get you guys on camera here. Get a little more compound and start hitting the bottom side that we skipped before. Bye bye ugliness. Hello to the pretty. You know, one of the things I'm thinking about a lot too is man, as this kind of community grows, it's gonna be really hard to like keep up with chat and answer 
all the questions and all the chatter that's coming through. So I'm brainstorming ways to, to figure out how we can, can keep the engagement going because I do think the engagement is, is so important. You know, I might even paint the 125 on this cover black. I don't, it wasn't black originally, but it's my bike. Do what I want. Uh, there's just something so rewarding about bringing these old parts back. And I don't really worry too much about like if there's a nick or a scratch or you know something in, in it. I, I, I don't. I kind of like that. I think it's kind of part of the story. It's part of the, the bike's history. So I kind of leave that stuff alone. I just like things to be really nice and clean. I like it to be clean. And uh, that's pretty damn good. Ooh, ow, I just rammed my back into that. That felt great. But there we go, there's our whole cover on step one. Step one, Tula. I like the 125. You don't see that on the bigger ones. Oh, man, I'm so behind on chat. Vika's in. Oh, man, we got all the usual suspects here, and the group is growing. Again, if you're watching the stream and uh, you have not already, be sure to join the Keep On Wrenching Facebook group. All right. Um, no new member requests right here, but man, we are growing and uh, we got a good solid group going on here. 109 members in that group. And also, thank you so much for watching. If you go to the homepage of KeepOnWrenching.com, go and get yourself a free sticker. Request a free sticker. I will drop one in the mail to you and uh, you're going to be having a new sticker. Oh, I'm still drinking that same beer, guys. Can you believe that? All right, we're going to the next step. Next stage is gonna be still with the black compound, okay? But I'm gonna go one wheel over. So I'm gonna to go to a little bit softer wheel. Not the softest wheel, but a soft wheel. Clean it with my fork. I just use a fork, guys. Other people, they use hacksaw blades, all kinds of stuff. Whatever, use whatever you want. But whatever works for you. But now we're gonna hit this with uh, kind of that, that medium pad. It's incredible how it all just kind of melts away. I can't believe that I did two full motorcycles sanding every piece by hand. Every, I, I, whenever I'm using this, this electric buffer, I'm just like, what the hell was I thinking? And I do have to thank Tula Tom for making me see the light. I caved so fast on that. Like the first time I used this tool, I was like, oh my God, what have I been doing? One little scuff in that. Not too bad, though. I'll clean this just a little bit. So we'll actually end up with two parts for the 125. I got a brand new uh, brake, rear brake light lens. And then we're going to have this beautifully polished points cover. It's going to be fabulous. Is this going to be enough to keep me motivated and to keep working? Keep seeing it through. See the projects through. Keep them going. See, now I'm kind of starting to get into polishing, and I'm polishing the wrong bike. I should be working on the freaking Apocalypse bike right now, but I'm not. Awesome. All right. <laughs> All right, looking good. I'm gonna move it over here, and then I've got my third 
wheel on my other grinder. So it's kind of nice because I don't have to switch out um, the different wheels and all that. I can just use this. We should be able to buff this pretty quick. Um, I do want to find, wait, my white compound. Where is my white compound? I'm gonna have to move you just a second. Where's my white? I guess this stuff here, yep, perfect. So we'll get the white compound out. Do a little bit of that. And this goes pretty quick. Oh, my hand, my fingers are all dusty. I should have changed my glove. Oh my God. Oh my God, can you guys see that? <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. I do hope that you guys can see the shine on the uh, on the stream. Oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Oh. Oh, I wish I wasn't putting fingerprints all over it with my glove. I like, really want to change my glove right now. Tighten that wheel just a little bit so it's chirping at me. Hit this just a little bit more and then we're going to be good. What an incredible stream tonight. Cannot thank you all enough for the support. And if you like it, share it. That's one of the best things you can do to support the channel right now, um, is just to share it. Share it with people who think who you think would appreciate what we're doing here. Damn. Okay, I'm feeling pretty satisfied with that. Let's go over here, throw that down. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I mean, this stuff can be done. It can be done. I've got just a little bit of residue on it uh, that I need to clean up. Uh, Brad, have a good night. Uh, go snow blow. Yeah, we got a storm hitting Michigan hardcore right now. Always good to have you, Brad. Thanks for stopping by the stream tonight. Oh man, we're talking rotator cuff surgeries. We're talking all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's snowing. It's, it's, it's snowing uh, pretty legit in Michigan right now for sure. I'm going to get these gloves off. I'll just give this a quick little wipe. Try to get my fingerprints off of this. And then I'll show you the last little step. See you, Brad. Be safe. Stay warm. How about that? Just a little bit different than it was before. And again, what did I did? What did I not do on this project? I didn't take a before picture. Hate it when I do that. I hate it when I don't take a picture of uh, of what it looked like when we started. Ugh, drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. All right. So what I like to do now is do some nice cleaning and for those of you who've been following the channel for a while you guys kind of know what my system is i just gotta find it i was just using it 
Where is my, oh, my wizards. There's my wizards. My wizards is sitting right there, man. I love this wizards polish. Metal polish for motorcycles. This just kind of puts everything kind of over the top. See, I should, I should put a glove on before I use this for sure. Going through gloves like a crazy person tonight. And that's okay, that's why we got gloves. Back up to 30, man, we've been crossing over on 30 over and over and over and over again. This is fun, man, this is so much fun. All right. Brian, the buffing wheel with the white, is that a softer wheel than the other two? Yes, Clement. Yes, that's the softest, most plush wheel um, that, that I have, for sure. So yeah, just I, I do it in three stages. The one is like kind of a coarse denim sewing one. And then the other one's kind of softer. Yeah, it's like cotton candy, this wizard stuff. Um, I, I just, it, it adds such a amazing shine. It just cleans and protects. It actually kind of turns black because it's, ooh, I dropped that. The stuff is like precious metal. Hate dropping it. But you just kind of work this stuff into, into the cover for a little while. It just evens it all out. It'll turn black on you a little bit. Don't worry. Everything's okay. And we just let it sit for a little while. And shoot, man, I kind of want to paint it or paint those numbers tonight. I wonder if I got a syringe and some black paint. I love using a syringe to paint these embossed letters and stuff. Just love it. It's just something about this stuff. It just makes it look magical. So I'll do this. See how it's turning black? It's almost turning like a, a black haze. Let's polish this up for a little bit. So I'll leave that alone, let that sit for just a, just a, just a tad. Go from there. I need to grab a clean microfiber. Grab myself a clean microfiber. And God, I want to wipe it off, but I know I should wait just a little bit more. I know I should wait just a little bit more. All right, let's wipe it off. Screw it. Can't wait anymore. Rotate your rag. Just make sure you're not always pushing that material back into that part. Bum, 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 bum. I feel pretty damn good about that. Oh, I just dropped it on the table. What a light year. <laughs> light years difference, man, on this cover. Wow. How long did that take us? How long did that take us, guys? How long did that take us? Not very long. Not very long at all. You know what? I think I got a black touch-up pen. That'll work up. That'll work just fine for what I want to do. Do we have a syringe here? So whichever one I find first. I found my black first. Beautiful. I'm going to grab just a little bit of... Is this paint thinner or water? I'll kind of clean that surface just a little bit. Go from there. But this should be pretty easy. This one's actually pretty nice. It's got like a little ballpoint pen in the bottom of it. Let's see if I 
I can get some paint out of it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Man, that looks so good. Oh, my ballpoint pen doesn't seem to want to be ballpointy anymore. That sucks. We could use the uh, syringe method too, though. I actually prefer the syringe method a little bit. If you guys haven't seen that, I got a bunch of videos on this one. Vika, you can talk about whatever you got. We're talking about whatever challenges we've got going on. But like instead of like having to painfully brush this stuff on and getting all jittery, it's kind of easy just to take one of these like craft syringes. And let's see if I can get this in here. Oh, I think I'm just running out of paint. Oh yeah, I'm just running out of paint. That's my problem. God darn it, I'm gonna have to order another one of these. Then you can just kind of slowly. I'm a little nervous here because I got a big air bubble. Got a big old air bubble in here. Air bubbles in syringes are not good. You can kind of just slowly walk your paint around. You don't really have to inject it in. You're really just, number one, keep it flat. You just kind of move the paint around. This just works so good for like an embossed area. Like that. See what I was saying? See what I was saying right there? Yeah, it's, um, the toothpick works really good too. Um, I, I just like the, the control that I get out of the syringe. You can just like drop a little in and move it around a little bit. Put a little blob in the corner here. If you get too much, you can kind of just move it down the line a little ways. Like there, I got a little bit too much paint. I'm gonna move that over here. I got a little bit too much. I got plenty of paint in this area here. Just carefully kind of draw that in. Just gotta get this other bottom corner here just a little bit. Again, Amazon, you can buy these little syringes for 20 of them for eight bucks or something. It's really cheap. But this will be a nice little detail, I think. A little bit. Oh, it gushed on me. I'm gonna have to clean that one up a little bit, but that's okay. Actually, I might be able to save it. Actually, that's not too bad. Thought I totally screwed that up, but. No, because it needs a little more paint down here. And you just kind of let it sit for a little while and you're gonna see there's gonna be like little low spots that might need just a little bit more paint. But as far as painting like an embossed part, I think this is the way to do it. Need just a little dab more right here. Oh man, so hard. Boom. Let that dry, let that chill out. I think that'll be great. So note to self, I gotta order just a little bit more black touch up paint. And then I wanna grab my paint thinner and clean out the syringe. So I can use that again. Pretty sure this is my, my paint thinner. Let's move this out of the way. Gosh, look at that. Bum, bum, da, 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 da. Bum, 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 bum. That looks pretty damn good to me. I'm liking it. Got a little paint thinner. Clean out that syringe a little bit. And 
That's going to be ready to go the next time we need it. It looked like I was pointing that right at the part, but I was not. Cool. That's fun. It's good stuff. I like that. It's always nice to have like one little project at least to just kind of get you over the end here. Yeah. What a difference. What a difference. I love it. All right, I'm gonna set this on the shelf, let her sit. I think I got a little bit more pot, like hand polish on this, just a little bit. But man, if you think about where, where it started, this is incredible. Incredible. What do you think of that? All right. All right, we're hitting that three hour mark, everybody. Three hour mark. Getting tired, guys. I'm getting a little tired. I'm not going to lie. Take a little sip of coffee. I got to catch up on chat, man. There's so much going on. If you're new to the channel, if you just kind of ran across this whole deal, go get your free sticker, all right? Free sticker at keeponwrenching.com. All right, go get that. It's right at the bottom of the homepage. If you go to keeponwrenching.com, grab yourself a free sticker. And then go to the Keep On Wrenching community group. Brian T., I've been sidetracked and pulled away from the live. Got to go. Catch you all next Thursday. Thanks so much for stopping by, Brian. Thanks so much. I'm getting real curious about how much snow is outside right now. All right, so Jeffrey, yeah, people are chiming in. Yeah, just go to uh, Keep On Wrenching Community Group on Facebook. And we'll do that Hot Pocket. Hot Pocket lives again. Well, I, I, it would be cool to get like a little Hot Pocket sticker patch or something. That'd be kind of cool. All kinds of good stuff here. Can't believe that's a rattle can, man. That is a rattle can. It looks so good. Join us in the Keep On Wrenching group. Again, I do have to thank you guys. Big milestone for me on the YouTube channel. Uh, 6,000 subs. People are watching these damn videos, man. <laughs> it's pretty cool. The last video that I put up there. See, yeah, buying this barn find is doing really, really well. Um, that cracked frame one. Um, that's something there, which luckily uh, looks like I might have a lead on getting that thing fixed. So get your free sticker, and then also if you'd like to support the channel, just head over to the support tab. You can donate or go check out some of the merchandise in the store. Added all kinds of stuff. New mugs, jacket, backpack, hats, gators. I love this new mug. <laughs> all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're having fun, you want to support the stream, um, go ahead and do that. So good stuff. I think I'm going to start winding her down here just a little bit, though. Maximum. Okay, Brian, time to separate that bottom end and do some tranny work. Grab another beer and let's get her done. <laughs> I'm not tearing this engine apart behind me. I'm not tearing this apart. I'm just going to let her rip, man. I don't see any reason to. It's got compression. Um, I feel good about it. Everything looks fine to me on this. That, this engine is going in that bike, and we're going to run it. Um, I'm doing, I, I don't think I'm going to do a top end on it. I don't think I'm going to do that. I just don't think, I think I'm just going to run it. It's got compression. It shifts. Everything's good, so I'm going to clean it. I'm going to put it in the damn bike. Stop mucking around. I got four other engines. I might, I, so we inspected the cam chain tensioner last week. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know. The engine needs a little bit of work, needs some cleaning. But I think we're just going to do it maximum. I think I'm just going to run it. I, there's no indication here saying that it's got all these problems. It was cold, um, cold in the shop. I think it was one... 110 or 115, I think it was. Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, my 70 CB, I never touched anything on that. The only thing about that engine that I don't know is, is really how many miles are on it, but I think it's low miles because the tensioner looks amazing on it. Um, it the tensioner looks like it's in great shape. It's not all chewed up. So, I don't know. I'm probably just going to run it. Unless somebody really talks me into doing a top end on it, but I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't have a reason. I had a reason to do it on, on the other bikes. Like 150 to 170, I think is the spec on it, but that's warm. And that was just cold. That's right, Tula Tom, no beer January is over, but I'm not going crazy. God damn, look how good this looks. I just got, I just got to keep looking at that, man. Looks great. Freaking love it. I'm glad, I, glad we knocked that out. Vika, I have enough projects. That's like I just want to run it. It's like, it, like if the motor blows up on it, which I don't think it will. I think it's going to be fine. Like on the 72, it was pretty... Um, on the 72, I mean, everything had to be done on it. I mean, it was locked up. The rings were busted on it. That thing was a was a nightmare. Um, so that all had to be done. My 70 CB, it ran, you know. So I just running it. If anything, I might go back to my 70 CB and check the check the uh, check check the tensioner on it because I never did check it. But that again, that bike has 4,000 miles on it. There's like no miles on it. Maximum, that's perfect. If it ain't broke, that that's how I'm feeling about it. it I just feel like. Yeah, why go through all of that? I mean, I can change my, my seals, you know, and, and stuff without tearing it. I can, you know, and like, honestly, if it's not leaking, why? I, I don't know. I, I, if it's not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I kind of like that mantra on that one for sure. I agree, Tula. I think run it. If something happens, I can pull it later. I totally, totally agree. It looks fine, though. I mean, I'm, I've gotten pretty good about going through the process of figuring out, of, you know, seeing, like, is it in spec? Is that going to work? Does that seem normal? And it, I feel like I'm in a really, really great, great place with it. Wow, a lot of sticker requests. Lots of sticker requests <laughs> happening in my email. So that, that's great to see. I want to get those out there. Again, thanks to Drew for, for hammering all that stuff. Oh, man. It's been a week. How's your week been, man? Is life just kind of weird right now? Is it just me? Clement, thank you. I'm going to. I'm going to just run it. I'm going to. You know, if you watch the 72 series, man, I, I went as far as I could on that. Yeah, I know what's what. No real exploring to do on that one. I, I just run it. Like, and plus, like, where it was and the story of the bike, the, like, the guy I bought it from, you know, it was in, this guy had an amazing shop, you know, and he's like, yeah, it's been just sitting in the corner in this beautiful shop. And, you know, it's, it's not like the 68 CB. I think it was, like, literally sitting out in the middle of a junkyard just rotting away in a field. It's, it's, it's going to be tough to bring that one back. We're going to do it, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to bring that bike back, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a battle. I mean, look at the, car, look at the carburetors tonight. Um, the tank, thank God, is beautiful on that, on, that, on that one. You can see it up there. Middle one on the, on the left is up there. All kinds of stuff. Oh, man. Shop Envy. Yeah, I mean, it's just, this, like, uh, this was unused space in my basement. Like, seriously. And I, I'm, I'm super blessed, one. Um, but yeah, this was just like a section of our, of our basement that we weren't really using. And um, it kind of just evolved into it. If, like, if you watch the 72 series, most of it I'm doing in an extra bedroom in our house. And then kind of as that bike was kind of getting towards completion, I kind of cleaned out this whole area of the shop, of the basement, and started doing motorcycles down here. Um, the challenge is, though, building motorcycles in your basement is that you got to get them upstairs eventually. 
So um, I'm working on a, a pretty, uh, pretty cool little kind of uh, a winch system to pull them up the stairs. Uh, I, I'll show that on stream when I get that done. Now the other one, like the 72, I had to basically take it apart and carry it back upstairs. I tried to push it up the stairs all by myself one day, like, like some idiot. <laughs> it didn't go so well. Um, it, it did not work, work, work out very well. Um, Vika, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I, I don't like pulling bikes up and down the stairs, but it's so convenient to work down here. I just, I, it's, it's warm. I have power. I have light. I got all this, all this flexibility. But yeah, what I, what I'm thinking of doing is just getting like an electric winch, and then doing in our house. This, there's the stairs, and then I can block that all off and do that and then just winch it and pull it up and balance it and pull it up. It wouldn't be that hard to do. Joe, good day from Australia. 2 p.m. on a Friday afternoon here. It's hot. We'll come through as Joe, but actually Steve. Okay, Steve. Awesome. Good to see you, Steve. I'm going to try remember that. <laughs> that. That's Steve. But thanks so much for joining the stream. Um, yeah, we're going strong, man. It's 2 p.m. on a Friday for you. It is, uh, what, 10 p.m.? 10.06 p.m. in the U.S. for me. I'm getting tired, bro. I'm getting tired. Man, we had a, a New Zealander in here tonight. We have an Australian in there. Man, you guys are representing. Representing on the Keep On Wrenching stream. I'm very curious. How did you find it? How did you find the YouTube live stream? I'm very curious to see how people are finding this. Because, man, people have been just trucking in pretty regularly tonight. Um, watching all, all this stuff. So, um, hey, also, um, you know, just remember, join that Facebook group. I want you guys to join that Facebook group. Keep on wrenching community group. Um, let's check real quick. Let's see if we got any new member requests. If you are a Facebooker, um, we've got a pretty cool little group uh, being built in that area. So, yeah, 109 members, and we're just sharing everything that we do with these stinking motorcycles. So, good stuff. Nice. Okay, Steve. Post a couple pics of my 750 last week. Uh, pretty hot here. 23 Fahrenheit. Oh, man. Like, how cold is it right here? We have a snowstorm happening right now uh, where I am at in the U.S. And I'm going to be shoveling snow in the morning for sure. Uh, it's, not, it's warm. Interestingly, it is warm outside. It is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like 20 and it looks like the snow is going to be coming to an end here uh, pretty soon. So that's good. Gosh, I wonder how much we got. We were supposed to get about four inches of snow. Looks like we could still be getting some snow tomorrow, though. Whatever. We'll deal with it tomorrow. We're not going to deal with it tonight. 32 would be amazing. Oh, man. People, <laughs> we've been live streaming for three hours now, just working on random stuff. Um, I think the, I, I, I don't know, I think that this is the award for the night. We saved that 125 um, uh, points cover, and that is kind of the first part on the 125. That, and we have a brand new rear taillight lens. So... This is what we're shooting for on the 125S from 1974, okay? This is where the bar is at. This is where the bar is at. We got a brand new lens and we got a really nice shiny points cover. Awesome, Steve. Thanks for supporting, watching the videos and thanks for joining the, 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 the Keep On Wrenching group. I, I think it's just a fantastic thing. Um, I, I follow that stuff. You know, throughout the day, it's hard not to check in and be like, okay, what's everybody working on? And then, or seeing people like they're wrenching on something during the day and it's like, oh man, I want to wrench on something during the day. That'd be fun. But we're not. 36 Celsius here. Uh, yep, Friday. Good for me too. North. Not safe for work. Just kidding. <laughs> Hot again. You'll shovel it in no time. Yep, I'll shovel the snow. Drew, you're calling it? Thank you so much for supporting the stream, Drew. Um, great job on those pipes, man. Again, you're sitting on a gold mine. Freaking gold mine, man. Um, yeah, stay in touch. We'll be in touch. Good stuff. Woo! Q 
killing it, guys. You're killing it tonight. It's amazing. Whew, I'm getting tired. Like no joke, though, guys. I'm getting I'm getting tired. And ladies, sorry, Vika. BB, what color are you going to do for this CL? BB, is there a BB in here? Oh, for the for the 125, gotcha. Um, I'm gonna do the red. Um, the 1974 only came in red. There was only one color that year, surprisingly. So I've been doing a little bit of research on those. So I'm gonna do red with the white stripe, uh, just like we've got going on right here. Except it won't be all like roached and ugly. It'll look beautiful. But first, I gotta get like a these uh, the uh, I, I want to trace all of these decals. So Drew or myself can make some new ones. Oh, BB. Okay, BB, BB. Got it. That's what that's what was going on there. All good. So yeah, I think that's kind of the next thing that I need to do is preserve the decals on this. Sandblast the tank. Get this thing all cleaned out. And then just start getting it painted. I mean, this would actually, this wouldn't take very much. I'll probably just go in... Uh, I'll probably just go to the, the parts store and find a red color that's really close. I'm not going to go for like a perfect match, I don't think. Um, do it real cheap, clean it up, but do a really nice job. And then again, I do have the, uh, the, the, the Spray Max 2K Clear to do on it. Richard's hopping into the stream. Good to see you, Richard. Um, Tula, the freaking side covers for a 125S, not easy to find, man. Um, I mean, just to get those side covers, it's going to be... Shoot, man. I mean, it could easily be $150 for those two side covers. And I don't want to do that. I was hoping to find, like, reproductions, you know, um, like I did, like I did on, the, on the Apocalypse bike. But we'll see. I'm still looking. I'm a long, long ways away from that. But, yeah, getting these, getting these decals preserved is going to be really, really key. I'm trying to think of a good way to do it. Like what kind of material would be the best to do? Because um, I need to be able to trace it. Got to think about that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna, what I'm going to use on that. Frank, if it ain't broke, just polish it. Right. I I I I, I buy into that totally. This is a little rusty on the top here, though. A little bit rusty right here. Just a little. I filled it with vinegar. It held for. It didn't leak at any at any time. It did leak out of the pet cock, um, but we saw why because we took that apart tonight. But you know, a little bit of time in the sandblaster, and uh, that's going to be done. Uh, I'm I'm confident that this will all clean up. The great thing about this tank is that there is not a dent in it. No maximum. I really don't. I don't have any access to like a really good motorcycle salvage place. There's one kind of on the way to Indiana, but it's like, it's like two hours away, I think. But they really don't have a whole ton. They don't have a, have a whole, whole ton of what I need there. So yeah, I haven't found one in my neck of the woods yet. If it ain't broke, just polish it. I still have, oh, you still have that vice and vinegar, Richard? I'd say you're probably good to pull that out. How many days now? Tula, what do you mean, how many days? How many days? Put it on 116. Oh, it, I, I mean, it has to be done. That, that has to be done by now, right? That's been forever. It's been over two weeks. Yeah, it, it, it looked like it, it needed some work, for sure. The salvage place in Indiana, I'll have to look that up. Um, I probably have their business card laying around. I know how to get there, because um, it's on the way to, to one of my, or was on, when I was traveling to see my clients for work. Um, I would have to do that. 
I love experiments, man. I love experiment experiments. Gotcha, Tula. I hear ya. Um, God, I'm, am I even gonna be able to find this real quick? Let me let me do a quick internet search just to see. Just to see if it does come up. I have their card. Go to a map, see if I can figure out where it is. Oh, I think it's these guys. I think it's these guys. Yeah, they don't even have a website. That was the thing. I had to call them. Yeah, this is it. This is the place. Oh, my God. This is the place. <laughs> Cycle Supply Company. I found a couple rando things that I needed there. Um, let's see, this Google listing isn't the greatest, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Literally, it's like just a little house with a junkyard. I'm looking at his Google listing right now. I wonder what kind of a reviews this guy got. Oh yeah, this guy's got 4.7 um, reviews. So it's a 10484M63, Rivers, Michigan. Call the guy. They don't have a website. You just call him if you need something you can ask. I should just call him and see if he randomly may have that. But I love reading like some of these reviews though. I always like to see. Somebody was really not happy. Great place, helpful people. You can't walk through the yard though. That was the downside to it. He won't let you walk through the yard. Um, you just kind of stand at the desk and he goes and gets what you need. He was a smart guy. He liked new stuff, though. He knew stuff. He helped me a lot. He actually really did get me a couple of key parts to get my, uh, my 1970 going. Didn't go there in person, but I called them. The woman that answered the phone was very unknowledgeable when it came to a motorcycle. Yeah, it's all, I mean, it all depends. That's the closest one that I know of. 10484 M63 Rivers, Michigan. You can give him a call at that number. You never know. It, it didn't seem like a huge salvage yard. It didn't seem like a huge one. Um, but he had a couple 350 items that, that I needed um, on that. No, oh, Tua, there's one north of Port Huron, another drive. How far is Port Huron? Like from Detroit, how far is Port Huron? There's, it's like kind of up in the thumb, right? If you're doing this whole stupid, or I mean this Michigan thing, it's like up here, isn't it? Nice thing about an electrolysis tank is it saves the metal. It converts the rust into metal instead of you sanding it off. Really, Clement, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, interesting. It converts the rust into metal. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah, Richard, I, you got to share pictures of this when this thing comes out. But yeah, I hit it with a good scratch pad. It's going to look amazing. And are you going to paint it or anything? You going to do anything else with it? I'm getting close, Vika, to starting my own swap yard for sure. I'm getting close. Oh, two hours or so. Oof. Yeah, there's nothing close. There's nothing close to me. You would think there would be one in Detroit. Like, you would think there would be something there. Hmm. Whatever. Ugh. Lots of sticker requests coming in. I'm going to be, ma I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be mailing some stickers here the next day or so. Frank, we get a hot week, then it rains on the weekend. Aussie weather is great for not riding the weekends. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Well, Michigan weather in the United States means you don't get to ride for eight months out of the year. Our window is pretty small to be able to even ride these bikes. I think I, mine are, you know, I probably pay more to uh, store, <laughs> store and insure bikes. It's pretty ridiculous. Ah, uh, yeah, connections would be great. And if you, if anybody knows, like CL125 side covers, do it. 
Yeah, Vika, go get your sticker. Why haven't you gotten a sticker yet? Go get it. It's the forms right on the bottom of the homepage. Just go to keeponwrenching.com. There's a little form. Fill that out. Boom, boom. Get that going. Keep on wrenching. Community group. Still doing well. Still doing well. And we got our goal, man. I think we peaked at 34 viewers tonight. I'll have to check the analytics and see where it actually ended up. But I think I, think I saw 34 at one time. So we've set a new record. We were at 29. That is so huge. So huge. Yeah, I'm going to need, I, I, I'm getting close to calling it here, guys. I'm sorry, man, it sucks when, uh, you know, we're, we've been going and then people can join in the time zones in the world. It's rough. I'll take some pics and post them. It's my first time doing this. It's cool you can get this kind of cleaning without having to time scrub. 100%, man. Yeah, I mean, the vinegar will do it. It's a little bit slower. Um, what's the other thing? You're supposed to add salt. Add salt. Thanks for stopping by, Frank. We will be good, and I hope to see you again on another stream. Thanks so much for stopping by, Frank. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's a winter storm happening right here uh, in Michigan right now, too. I think it's just finally blowing through right now. Did you try that classic Japanese motorcycle website? I don't think so. Which one, Tula? Which one? Where are you at again, Richard? Negative 30, that's, that's North Dakota weather. Maxim, it's all good, bro. Take a rest. Keep up the good work on the media. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I just got one more day of work. And I got to be sharp tomorrow. I got some meetings tomorrow that I got to be sharp on. Oh, uh, Tula, can you send me the link to that? I may have just totally overlooked that. It's just starting there. Yeah, I rolled through here. I'm curious to go see how much snow we actually got. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in, in, in Minnesota. I lived in North Dakota for a long time. Now I'm in Michigan. I, just, I can't get away from the snow. It's not, that I, it's not that I enjoy it or anything. Polar vortex, negative 40 wind chill. So the coldest temperature that I ever uh, remember, I was in Fargo, North Dakota, on the frozen prairie out there, or the frozen tundra, as they say. A winter, I think it was a winter storm. I don't know if it was a blizzard. I think, yeah, no, it was a blizzard. It was a blizzard. And the radio said that um, with wind chill, it was minus 84 degrees Fahrenheit. I distinctly remember the, the guy on the radio saying, and right now we have a wind chill of minus 84 in Fargo. Clement, good night. Three hours with great bike people. Thank you. Good night. Thanks for stopping by, Clement. Thanks for hanging out in the chat, man. Awesome. Good stuff. Good feedback. Good info. Valuable. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the day. We got one more day to go, guys. We got one more day to go. And uh, we got to get through tomorrow. I got a real busy day tomorrow. Um, and then the weekend. And then I got to get polishing, man. That, that's honestly the next thing. I got to get these wheels done because gotta, I got to lace them eventually. And I got to get the tires on it. I got to get the wheels. Yeah, minus 84. That was like KFGO radio station up there. They were live on the air during the blizzard. It was just absolutely crazy. So yeah, guys, I think I got to call this one three and a half hours, three hours, 26 minutes. I think we had fun tonight. We didn't make a ton of progress on the apocalypse bike, which is looking pretty damn sexy over there, by the way. Um, but knocked out a couple other things. And honestly, the highlight for me, and for those of you who missed it, I mean, we got to go and take a look inside the gas tank with the uh, little snake camera. And I think we, we were able to assess a couple different things to know what we're actually dealing with over there. So I cannot thank everybody uh, enough for the, for, the, for the support tonight. Um, Ron came in, he ordered uh, two, two sweat, or, or he ordered the KOW sweatshirt, picked that up from the store. 
You're building a great community. Love the live streams. Keep on wrenching. That support is amazing. 70 Honda purchased two of the uh, Keep on Wrenching mugs from the merch store. That's amazing. And then, man, mad props, mad props to Dan, uh, Dad Lindquist. Donated $100 on the stream tonight. Uh, thanks for all your great videos was the message on that. So the fact that people are watching these videos, people are are, are getting so much value out of it. And uh, they're so appreciative. Man, it's it's incredible. So, so thank you to Dad Lindquist, 70 Honda, and Ron. Tyler, thank you for stopping by. Um, you, you, I got your sticker request. I will get it in the mail um, for sure. That sounds like a, an awesome project for me uh, tomorrow night is to get that all going because they're popping through. Got another one, another one four minutes ago. So um, we've got it. Tula, thanks for sending the email. Dance, dance, dance time so I can sleep tonight. Yeah, let's, let's all get some sleep. Again, thanks for the support. I mean, we're, we're closing up the stream. We're at 21 viewers. We broke our record. I think we got to 34. I'll claim, or, or I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that's right, looking at the analytics tonight. But again, incredible community, incredible support. You guys blew up the chat. Um, the chat was crazy tonight. I'm, I'm sorry if I missed your message, if you sent a message, um, but uh, don't take it personally. It's moving really fast. <laughs> I think I missed most of the messages when I was when I was using the polishing wheel to go and get this 125 <laughs> points cover all sealed up and a done deal. So again, thanks so much for watching the stream. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, keep on wrenching community group on Facebook. Keeponwrenching.com. Request your free sticker. Check out some merch. Donate if you want. Whatever. Everybody have a great night. Have a great Friday and uh, have, a, have a good wrenching weekend, all right? Get something done and have a good time. So three hours, 29 minutes and